Good evening. Buenas noches. Welcome to the final session. Bienvenidos a la noche de cierre of the 2023 World Convention for FGBMFI. De la Convención 2022 de la Fraternidad Internacional de Hombres de Negocios del Evangelio Completo. We are very glad that you are here. Estamos muy felices de que esté compartiendo con nosotros. I know I'm excited to be here. Yo estoy muy emocionado de estar aquí. My name is Doug Woolley. Mi nombre es Doug Woolley. 
I reside in Tampa, Florida, USA. Vivo en Tampa, Tampa, Florida, Estados Unidos. And I serve as the international secretary for this wonderful organization. Y tengo el privilegio de servir como secretario internacional para esta preciosa organización. I'd, before I introduce the head table, antes de introducir la mesa principal, there's three important people I'd like to recognize. Hay tres personas importantes que me gustaría reconocer. First, would you all welcome with me the Holy Spirit? Primero, por favor, una bienvenida al Espíritu Santo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being here. Gracias, Señor, por estar aquí. Second, I would like to welcome my wife, Marsha Woolley. Segundo, me gustaría darle la bienvenida a mi hermosa esposa, Marsha Woolley. She was born in Ghana, lived in Togo, and then Democratic Republic of Congo, but resides with me in the USA now. <laughs> Nació en Ghana, luego en, vivió en Congo, luego en la República Democrática de, no, luego en Togo, pero ahora vive conmigo en Tampa, Florida. Next, I'd like to recognize a special guest of Paul Lies and myself. Ahora me gustaría presentar a un invitado especial de Paul Lai y mío. And that is Mark Benson, who yes. is regional director for the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. Mark Benson, que es el director del Museo de la Biblia en Washington, D.C. Six months ago, the international directors held an ID meeting in Washington, D.C. Hace seis meses, los directores internacionales tuvimos una, re, una reunión en Washington, D.C. And the cabinet, Mario, myself, Francis, Bruno, and others were given a wonderful tour of the Bible, uh, the Museum of the Bible. Y el gabinete internacional formado por Mario, por Francis, por Bruno, y por mí, tuvimos un excelente tour del Museo de la Biblia. Thanks to Mark Benson. Gracias a Mark Benson. Thank you. At the head table here, en la mesa principal acá, I'd like to start at the far end here. Me gustaría empezar por la esquina inferior derecha. We have Mike Postlewaite, who is the national president for the USA. A donde tenemos a Mike Postlewaite, presidente de FINEC, Estados Unidos. Next to him is Bruno Berthon from France, our International Vice President. Luego está Bruno Bertón de Francia, nuestro pre vicepresidente internacional. Next we have our International President who resides in Mexico, Mario Garcia. Luego tenemos a Mario Garcia, nuestro presidente internacional, actualmente viviendo en México. Next we have our special, a special guest speaker, Luego whose, name is, whose name is Saeed Husini. Luego tenemos a un invitado especial, Said Hussein. We have our international treasurer from Ghana, Francis Owusu. Francis Owusu, nuestro tesorero internacional desde Ghana. And I think I already mentioned. <laughs> e, y but tenemos a Doug Woolley, nuestro secretario internacional. Yeah, Doug Woolley, international <laughs> secretary from Florida, or USA. Thank you. A mi, a mi lado izquierdo, uh, we have right here, uh, a gentleman from Ghana. Tenemos aquí un caballero de Ghana. And it's Danny. Su nombre es Danny. God is great. Dios es grande. <laughs> Danny Mawenyega. His last name means God is great. Su, su apellido literalmente significa Dios es grande. Next is Anthony Puthrari. He is our regional vice president of Asia and Pacific from Indonesia. Anthony Puthrari, eh, vicepresidente regional de Indonesia. Next is Willie Orhin, RVP in Ghana. Luego, Willie Orhin, el uh, RVP de Ghana. And he's RVP for an area within Africa. Y es RVP para un área dentro de África. Next, we have Paul Lai, who is an international director residing in Hawaii, USA. Luego tenemos a Paul Lai, que es uno de nuestros directores internacionales actualmente viviendo en Hawaii. 
We are privileged to have the Indonesian national president with us, Dolly Santonto. Tenemos a Dolly Santonto, quien es en este momento el presidente nacional de la República de Indonesia. And at the far end is Pierre Fuelo from Democratic Republic of Congo. Ay, y en la esquina izquierda tenemos a Pierre Fuelo, presidente de la República Democrática de Congo. And he serves as a regional vice president for French Africa. Y es actualmente el vicepresidente regional para las naciones africanas que hablan francés. Starting over here in the back row on the far side. Al lado derecho en la punta derecha superior is Gabriel Efra, who is national president for Uruguay. Eh, eh, Gabriel Efra, en este momento presidente nacional de Uruguay. Next we have Sal Salvador Salazar, who is national president for El Salvador. Luego tenemos a Salvador Salazar, mi presidente nacional. Next we have Jose Aguilera from Honduras, and he is now the new RVP for Central America. Y ahora tenemos también a, a Don José Ramón Aguilera, vicepresidente regional para Centroamérica, México y el Caribe. Next we have Alberto Domingo, national president for Panama. Luego tenemos a Alberto Domingo, presidente nacional de Panamá. Next we have Raúl De Angelo from Argentina. Luego tenemos a Raúl D'Angelo de Argentina. And he is the new RVP for Southern South America. Y él es el nuevo vicepresidente regional para el cono sur de Sudamérica. Next we have George Pra from, from Ghana. Tenemos a George Pra de Ghana. And he serves as RVP for the southern part of Africa. Y él está sirviendo como vicepresidente regional para la parte sur de África. Next we have Gerardo Rivera, who is an international director from Honduras. Luego tenemos a Gerardo Rivera, director internacional por Honduras. I will introduce him more a little later, but he's also the chairman for the World Convention. Más adelante se lo voy a presentar un poco más, pero también es el chairman, el director para todas las convenciones mundiales. Following here we have Jaime Sol from Costa Rica, an sí. international director at large. Siguiendo acá tenemos a Jaime Sol de Costa Rica, director internacional at large. In the empty spot, y la silla vacía, we have this gentleman, <laughs> su humilde traductor, who is translating for me. Miguel Ángel Cubías. Miguel Cubías, International Director for El Salvador. Director Internacional El Salvador. It's a wonderful gentleman. This is the National President un, for Rwanda. Un gran caballero, Presidente Nacional de Rwanda. Gulefa Neguzia. Munjura Rutai Serif. Next to him is the National President for France, Philippe Roser. Eh, ahora el Presidente de Francia, Philippe Roser. I just met this gentleman in person a month ago. Acabo de recién conocer este caballero hace un mes. He is the national president of Democratic Republic of Congo, President, Macare. Presidente Nacional para Finec de la República Democrática del Congo. And then Juan Peña, the national president of Nicaragua. Y luego eh, Juan Peña, que funge como presidente nacional de Nicaragua. Would you give a big round of applause for all these gentlemen who have served you and the fellowship internationally? Un aplauso para todos estos caballeros por su servicio para ustedes y la fraternidad. We now have a nice video to show you. Ahora tenemos un precioso video para enseñarles. About the life of our founder Demas Shakarian. Sobre la vida de nuestro fundador he had started the fellowship in 1951. Él empezó con esta preciosa organización en 1951. 
which was then established and founded in 1952, que después fue establecida formalmente y fundada en 1952, and legally incorporated as an organization in 1953 in California. Y luego fue incorporada ya como una corporación en 1953 en California. The video comes from Demas Shakarian's granddaughter, Cynthia Shakarian. El video eh, es cortesía de la nieta de Demas Shakarian, Cynthia Shakarian. May you enjoy the video. Que lo disfruten. Thank you. You're taking Ken Copeland's time now. <laughs> Joni and I and the entire Daystar Television Network want to say congratulations to the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International 70 great years. Yes, you think about uh, Dima Shikarian, what, you know, of course he's with the Lord, but his influence on so many business leaders and the Shikarian family as well. A big congratulations from all of us here at Daystar. What a milestone, 70 years. And we have a little something special for you. Hello, this is Mario Murillo, and it is my great honor to tell you a story. When I was a starving young preacher, barely able to get our ministry off the ground, I was invited to speak as a teenager at the Full Gospel Businessmen chapter in San Francisco. It was life-changing because they raised several hundred dollars at a time when that was a lot of money for us to have our first outreach and to rent our first building. After that, I was privileged to speak at my first world convention and personally meet one of the greatest men of God I've ever known, Dima Shikarian, a man who had a vision that is so amazing that it's probably one of the greatest untold stories of the 20th century. The millions of people that he influenced through the Full Gospel businessmen chapters that were all over the world. I remember one day sitting with Andre Crouch and we were talking about our heroes. And Andre said something to me and we almost said it simultaneously. He said, Dima Shikarian was the most like Christ in his character and temperament of anyone we had ever met. It was an honor to know him and I know that his story needs to be retold and the vision needs to be rekindled. And I am thrilled to be any part of that miracle. God bless you. Hi everyone, I'm Richard Roberts, and I'm glad to be a part of this special celebration honoring 70 years of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International. You know, I was just a little boy, two or three years of age, when on a Friday night in my dad, Oral Roberts Crusade in Los Angeles, he called a young businessman, Dima Shakarian, up to the platform. 
And as my dad told me the story, Demas gave his testimony and poured out his heart of how God was leading him to start a men's fellowship, the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International. And after he gave the testimony, my dad said, now we're going to meet tomorrow morning, which is Saturday. We're going to meet tomorrow morning at Clifton's Cafeteria. And we're going to have a men's meeting. And he said, I'm going to be the first speaker. <laughs> well, that's how Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship got started. And I thank God all through these years. And I want to say a special word of thanks to all the Shakarian family, Demas and his dear wife, Rose, who I remember very well. I remember many times being in their home having dinner. And Richard and Vanjie and uh, Cynthia and all the family. God bless everyone. God bless the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. And congratulations on 70 glorious years. Hello. I'm Kenneth W. Hagan. I'm the president of Kenneth Hagan Ministries and Raymond Bible Training College, also the pastor of Raymond Bible Church. But you know, when I think of Demas Shakarian, I think of his contribution to what God wanted to do in this earth. It's through his formation of the full gospel businessmen that thousands of people that didn't know about the Holy Spirit. Through the full gospel of businessmen, thousands of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. In fact, my dad and Demas were good friends and Demas used to tell dad, I want you to pre teach on the Holy Spirit. And I was at many of those conventions with my dad as he spoke in, on the Holy Spirit in the afternoon breakout sessions. I was there with him as he was one of the speakers at the night banquet. At, he spoke at world conventions and all these conventions. And actually, even though dad had a good ministry, it was Demas and the full gospel businessmen that helped launch him to the worldwide ministry that we have today with Kenneth Hagin Ministries. Demas, <laughs> I, I, I never will forget, my dad would not, even though he had something, he wouldn't jump up and interrupt. And it would be so, so funny. Uh, Demas would be there talking, and all of a sudden he would sort of sputter a little bit, and he'd look down the table, the head table there, and he would say, Brother Hagin, you got something? My dad say yes, and he'd go to the microphone and deliver the message that he had from God. You know, Demas Sikarian will be remembered in the annals of heaven as the man that helped promote the infilling of the Holy Spirit upon thousands of people that would have never heard the message if it had not been for Demas and the Full Gospel of Business Men Association. Thank you for allowing me to share about Demas. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jesse DePlantis. I'm so excited about what Demas Shakarian did. Years ago, this is the 70th anniversary and continuing that great vision. See, every man's work must be a continuation. I wish I could be there with you, but I'm telling you what, I'm about the Father's business just like Demas was and just like you are. Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship was one of the greatest ideas God ever gave any individual. It touched people that you never thought would be touched because I heard people say for years, well, you know, business people don't have time. They go to church on a Sunday and that's it. No, no. Businessmen and business people, they love the gospel. And I thank God that God gave Demas that wonderful, wonderful vision. And Cynthia, thank you for continuing it and going with it. And it'll go faster and further. All you got to do is believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship International. 70 years. What a blessing of God that is. Until next time, this is Jesse DePlan saying, we'll see all of you soon. God bless you. Tell somebody about Jesus, okay? See you later. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. I want to wish you a happy 70th anniversary for the Full Gospel Businessmen and honoring Demas Shakarian. He was such a wonderful man, and he actually got my husband, John Osteen, started because we weren't very popular with the, the denominational people at the time when he first received the baptism in the Holy Ghost. And so Demas Shakarian asked him to come and speak 
And I'm telling you, he sent uh, John all over the world to um, minister for the full gospel businessman. And it actually got him started. And it was a wonderful thing. He was a wonderful man. He was so full of God. His whole family was wonderful. I loved Miss Rose and all the, the children. And I just wanted to say thank you to the Shakarian family for uh, doing all that you have done through the years and for all the people that you have led to Jesus. So many all over the world. And I know Jesus is proud of you. And I personally am proud of you. And thank you for asking me to say a word about you because you've meant so much to me and so many others. Be blessed in this new year. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, this is Bill Winston. I am here to thank you and celebrate with you the 70th anniversary of the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship. I tell you, this particular organization has made an impact on so many people's lives. Back in, what, 1952, Demas Shikarian uh, started this organization, and look where the full gospel businessman has gone. This is proof that God's work will go on. If we'll just have the faith to just stay with God, you'll stay with us. Now, this organization has affected so many lives, has caused people who were in business, who didn't know Christ, to come into the kingdom of God. Oh, we celebrate you. Again, congratulations, all of those who have been involved and are now taking the lead with the full gospel businessmen in taking it all over the world. We congratulate you. We thank you. We celebrate you. Bill Winston saying we love you and keep walking by faith. Hello, I'm Jerry Savelle, and I'm so pleased to have a part in the 70-year anniversary of the Full Gospel Businessman. Obviously, you know it was begun by Demas Shakarian, one of the most precious men I've ever known. He was a great inspiration to me back in the early days of my ministry, and in fact, it was because of the Full Gospel Businessman and them inviting me to participate in their meetings on a, a regional level and a national level that it helped launch my ministry across the world, and I will forever be grateful. So I just want to thank all of the Shakarian family for being so loyal to the call of God and also being so faithful to helping other people launch their ministries like you did mine. So once again, I celebrate Demas Shakarian, and I celebrate the 70 years of the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship. Cynthia, what an honor it is for you to ask me to remember your grandfather, Demos Shakarian. He, he had so much influence, and the influence your grandfather had with business people and with the church, really, because it because of him, the movement of the charismatic gifts kept going forward. I remember sitting by him once on a plane and us just conversing over the influence that he had had in the body. I want to leave you with a scripture for what is to come ahead. I know how much he influenced my life. I know how uh, full gospel businessmen as well as Women's Aglow starting in the 70s, without them, I don't think the church would have ever moved forward the way it moved forward. But here's my scripture for you as you remember this time. In that day, the Lord of hosts will become a, a magnificent crown, a glorious diadem to the converted remnant of his people. A spirit of justice for him who sits in judgment administering the law, a strength to those who drive back the battle at the gate. And the Lord says to you, this will be a time that you will shift that remnant that you are still part of into a new strength for the battle ahead. I decree right now new battle strategies for the battle ahead. We reach back and then we press forward. God bless you all. Hello, this is Pastor Paula White Kane. I didn't grow up in church, but I remember getting saved when I was 18 years old. I was in this small church in Damascus, Maryland, 
and the men would gather and they would go to these events together and be all excited and, but they would come back full of wisdom and power and the fire of God and the anointing of God and I think where did they go and I'd find out that they would go to the full gospel businessmen's fellowship man what an impact it would have on them there are no words that I can begin to say to the Shakirians for the years, the lineage, the legacy that has been done through this great ministry and through your grandfather. When I look over a man and the importance that he is in the kingdom of God, he's a father that governs, guards, and guides. As we've done extensive work all throughout the nation and throughout the world, we find that often the root problems in society are the lack of fatherhood and of men this is one of the most important ministries, and I just pray during this 70 year anniversary that you continue to thrive, that God favors you, that he anoints you, that he downloads heavenly strategies. And personally, for all the great businessmen and all the men that I know have been touched by this ministry, thank you for the price you've paid. May God keep you and prosper you. Pat Boone here, folks. I wanna just reminisce with you a little bit about 70 years, the Full Gospel Businessmen's Association. I still remember so fondly all the years with Demas and all the other folks in the uh, Full Gospel Businessmen's Association. It has been uh, such an exciting life for me. And I know for all of you who have received the baptism in the Holy Spirit, and I know the Full Gospel Businessmen is responsible for so many candles that have been lit across this country for so many years. We are the light of the world. Jesus is the light, we are the light. He fills us with his light and we radiate that light. Well, I don't have to tell you any of this. This is all uh, just fruit of the spirit for me. Thanks to Cynthia, thanks to all of you for reactivating and celebrating 70 years and we're still going strong. Let's keep it that way. The God is our, is our Father, the Holy Spirit. Jesus is our light. The Spirit fills us with his energy and his power. Keep it going, brethren and sisters. Jesus is Lord. Hi, this is Bishop Pete Butler, Word of Faith International Christian Center. Praise God. I'm just reminiscing about the full gospel businessman in the 70 years that it's been involved in ministering to people around the globe. You know, Demos Shakarian uh, was someone that also had an impact on, not on my life, but a whole lot of people's lives, praise God. And you know, when I first was a rookie preacher, just got started after I graduated from Bible school, I used to attend the tent meetings they had out there in Troy. Kenneth E. Hagan Sr. called me up during one of those meetings, and the word of the Lord came unto him about our ministry, and of course, it all came to pass and here we are today because I was at that meeting. And I went to many meetings like that because there was just such wonderful ministry, thousands of people under the tents. And so praise God, we wanna say congratulations for 70 years and we trust in the name of Jesus that the anointing of God will continue to minister to the lives of people through this organization. Thank God for Demon Security. And let us invite, first of all, uh, Cynthia, where are you? Please stand up. Um, no, I don't have. I loved, I know Shakirin very well. Uh, but I just want to say something to you. This is uh, the, the granddaughter of Dima Shakirin. Is that correct? I don't want to get it wrong because when I've been up in the spirit stuff, I get all confused. Are you enjoying this, by the way? Okay, we're going to do something like this for you. But, but I want to say something. People don't know this. But I, I am actually in the ministry because of the Full Gospel Business Fellowship. I came to Christ, as you know, I was in the street and I had a street experience. And I heard about this gathering called the Full Gospel Business Fellowship. And they asked me if I would play the piano. And I'd only been saved a few weeks and was in a little town. And I wanted to see how far it reached to a very, very small town in South Africa where a young man was being groomed and prepared for ministry, but nobody believed in me, not one single person. Um, I was rejected uh, when I went to Bible college to do the interviews twice. 
And I went to this meeting and there was a very powerful evangelist there and then a representative of your grandfather. And in that meeting, I was playing and this, this is the first time this happened. The Spirit of the Lord came on me, which as you heard today, this is what I do regularly, but it had never happened to me. And the pastor that was there, the evangelist, his name was Fred Roberts. And he was, he was under the anointing and he, he said, something strange has happened. He said, God told me, now I'm a few weeks old in the Lord, that this young man must take over the service. Now I was petrified. You know, I'm 20, uh, I'm uh, 19, 20 years of age. And I, I didn't know what to do and the Spirit of the Lord came on me and I started worshiping and singing at an altar call and my ministry started officially from that point onwards. And I want to make it clear that this wonderful organization that I know your father is deeply involved in now, but is it, it reached even to that little place to raise me up. I just wanted to tell you that from the platform. I, of course, I would not, I'm going to do a presentation for you and whatever, but thank you for being here and I honor you today. Thank you. I'm Gene Bailey and I am so thrilled to be able to talk about Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. I know it was started in 1952 and I know we're celebrating 70 years, but when I think back on revivals, I am a student of revival. And there's so much that I didn't know about the roots of Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship, especially the Shikarian family. And in looking back and diving into history of the Armenian revivals and how they came, the, the ancestors came over to this land. It's an amazing story of the faithfulness of God. Let me tell you, there was something about a Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship meeting uh, that was like none other. It was everything from social media to broadcast television all rolled up into one. And it was interesting to go to a meeting. I remember my father carrying me to a meeting or two when I was a young boy and hearing the speakers sit up there and talk about what God had done in their lives, great testimonies of healing. It was really a movement. It wasn't just an organization that did a great thing for God. It was a movement and it ignited charismatic renewal, modern Pentecostalism, if you want to call it that. But listen, it was really about seeing people move closer to God. And I love that about the history. I love the fact that this has continued to go all of these years through all of the turmoil of the, what we've done, gone through as a nation in the world and now to be in 85 nations. Amazing, amazing heritage. Second Thessalonians 3.3 3 says, But the Lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. I think about that with all the history of Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship and the Shakarian family, all that they had to deal with, they were still protected. In Matthew 25, 21, it says, His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. I think of that with all that's happened, but it's not over. 70 years is just the beginning for Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. I'm glad to be able to be a part of it and be a part here with you tonight to celebrate what's going on. 70 years, we're just getting started. Listen, let's bind together. Let's unify together like we've never unified before where we bring all walks in Christianity together to see this world change, to see America changed, to know who Jesus really is. Listen. I know you're like me. You know that this season that we're in, right now more than any other time, this is the last great awakening. We've all got a job to do. And sure, 70 years with Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship has been a wonderful start to what we've got to do now. So I want to encourage you. Let's celebrate tonight. Let's celebrate what's happening. But now let's get ready for the next level because we've got a lot of work to do. And I know if Dima Shakirian was standing right here right now, he'd say, Let's go get it done. Hello, I'm Kenneth Copeland. In the uh, 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews, we have the hall of fame of faith. Then in the 12th chapter, wherefore seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside the every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author 
and the finisher of our faith. Demo Shikarian, an apostle of God, sent to the businessmen first in the United States and then international. Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. And his obedience to carry out the things that God had called him to do is just, well, phenomenal. He is part of these witnesses. We're, we're surrounded now by these great witnesses that have gone on to glory. Demas Shikarian, Oral Roberts, Kenneth E. Hagan, T.L. Osborne, T.L. Lowry, Morris Cerullo, <laughs> oh, oh, just uh, Rex Humbard. Glory to God, just, just, just go on and on and on and track it all the way back to Jesus Himself. The callings of God and the wonders of a ministry that began in California and a man that owned a dairy. <laughs> And look what happened after that. I mean, all over the world, untold thousands filled with the Spirit of the living God just because of Demas and Rose Shikaria. Good friends, lovely people. I can say this. One of the kindest, sweetest men I have ever had the privilege of meeting. Just so kind, soft-spoken, but a giant of faith. This great apostle of God laid out a track before us for us to follow, and we're still following. And I thank God for giving me the privilege to have been a part of something that began 70 years ago and is still in operation today because Jesus is Lord. Well, I think God wants to show Southern California and from here to the world that he's alive. Man, isn't this wonderful? Jesus is here. Did you learn a lot about the fellowship? Aprendieron algo sobre la historia de fraternidad? And what God has been doing for decades now. Y lo que Dios ha estado haciendo a través de fraternidad por décadas. And is continuing to do. Y está continuando a hacer. The gentleman who's going to be sharing with us, el caballero que va a estar compartiendo con nosotros, has experienced and gone through several revivals. Tiene mucha experiencia y ha vivido muchos avivamientos. Our fellowship itself has been influenced by four revivals and been a catalyst for three, at least. Nuestra propia fraternidad ha sido influenciada por cuatro avivamientos y ha sido catalizadora de tres, por lo menos. Dima Shikarian and our fellowship had its roots in the 19, early 1900s Azusa Street Revival. Eh, Demo Shakarian y Fraternidad tuvieron sus orígenes en la, el avivamiento de los 1900 en Azusa. Where they emphasized the full gospel. Donde enfatizaron el evangelio completo. Where they understood that the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit are valid for today. Donde entendieron que el bautizo del Espíritu Santo y los dones del Espíritu Santo son válidos para hoy también. Just as they were in biblical times and as they are shown in the Bible. 
Así como eran válidos en tiempos bíblicos y como fueron enseñados o han and, sido enseñados en la Biblia. And this formed a, a key theme within our fellowship. Y esto forma un pilar fundamental dentro de nuestra organización. The fellowship was born out of the healing revival of the 1950s. Eh, la fraternidad nació gracias al, a estos avivamientos de los 1950s. We can pray for people and see them recover from their illnesses, from, from issues. Empezamos a orar por personas y los vimos recuperarse de sus enfermedades. Our fellowship was nurtured in the charismatic revival of the 1960s. Nuestra fraternidad fue criada por el movimiento carismático de los 1960s. And it was greatly accelerated in the word of faith movement in the 70s and the 80s. Y fue eh, grandemente acelerada por los movimientos de fe de los 70s y 80s. The gentleman that is with, it, with us was very instrumental in the charismatic revival and the word of faith movement. El caballero que está con nosotros fue un gran instrumento en el movimiento carismático y en el reavivamiento de la fe. Kenneth Copeland is an American televangelist within the charismatic movement. Kenneth Copeland es un uh, evangelista norteamericano dentro del movimiento carismático. He is also a recording artist. También es un artista de grabación. He founded Eagle Mountain International Church in Texas. Fundó la iglesia del Monte del Águila en Texas. And his sermons are broadcast across the U.S. and the world. Y sus sermones son publicados o televisados a través de todos los Estados Unidos y diferentes naciones. He has been a friend of the fellowship for several decades. Ha sido un gran amigo de nuestra organización por muchas décadas. Being invited in the 1970s for some youth events. Fue invitado en los 70s para unos eventos de jóvenes. And I heard it became so popular that they then invited him to speak from the main platform. En esa vez fue invitado para el evento de jóvenes, pero fue tan linda su participación que luego fue invitado para la participación especial. We would like to welcome him once again to the main platform. Please welcome Kenneth Copeland. Por favor, démosle un gran aplauso nuevamente a Kenneth Copeland para que comparta con nosotros. be translating into Spanish on channel number four. <laughs> so he's, he's going to be speaking in English, and if you'd like to hear him in Spanish, please tune to channel number four. Uh, someone needs to translate that for the Spanish people. <laughs> One moment. Pueden escuchar en sus aparatos el evento, la traducción al español es el canal número cuatro. Sintonicen el canal número cuatro, mientras él está hablando en inglés, ustedes podrán escucharlo en español. Amén. Gloria a Dios. Aleluya. Yo predico la palabra de fe. Yo predico la, pa la palabra. En el nombre de Jesús. Jesús es el Señor. Es Amén. You may be seated. Last night, I got so excited. I forgot everything was being translated. How do you translate a greasy ball peen hammer <laughs> in Espanol? Yo no sé. <laughs> Oh, I, I did. I got so thrilled and excited last night. Uh, would it be better to sing with this one? 
Sister Beth singing my Donnie, please. In my opinion, the greatest gospel song ever written. such love I never find when he was on the cross I was on his mind the look of love was on his face The blood that stained his scarlet robe had stained him crimson red. His eyes were on that crowd that day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I um, I got so excited last night preaching for the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship International. I Personally, I had a runaway. 
And, as, and I, there's so many things I intended to say and didn't. I'm going I'm to get back to business tonight. Mm, mm, mm. And I, I where's, where's Miss Vanjie? And Cynthia? Would you stand, Cynthia? Would you stand, Vanjie? Um, Cynthia, I see rose in your face. And you, you're just, there's no doubt about the fact you are a shikarian. <laughs> Glory to God. And I've known you since you were very tiny. And Vanjie, oh my, the things we've seen. It's marvelous and wonderful. And I remember so many things. Harold Bradison, oh my. We were, we, and be seated, please. And um, this is back in the day. And, um, oh, Brother Hagen and, and um, oh, my, Norville Hayes. And uh, one night, Harold Bradison was the main speaker, and they couldn't find him. <laughs> they searched, they went up and looked in his room. They couldn't find him. He was asleep under the head table. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. And I, I talked to you about in San Francisco and then went to Hawaii. Uh, the pastor, Vanjie, you, you probably can help me remember his name. He, he, was a, he was a good friend of Don and Linda Locke from Oklahoma City. But he was on that trip to Hawaii. Anyway, this man, he was a pastor. He's in heaven today. So in touch with God. And there was a piece of property that came available. And the word of the Lord came to him and he said, you go buy that piece of property today. Go sell all of your furniture and buy it right now for $5,000. So he did it without telling his wife. <laughs> but the Lord said, you do it today. Everybody called him crazy. That piece of land wasn't worth anything. Well, it just so happened that they changed the exit of the first interstate highway in the United States, and it ran right in front of his property. And $5,000, ooh. <laughs> yes, Ramada Inn bought it, and he was on the board of Ramada Inn. <laughs> These are the kind of giants. Benji, you remember his name? I can just see him on that 747, you know, they, they huh? You know, they pass out the little warm claws, and he was standing there talking. <laughs> talking to Blaine Hamburger, and he was just he was just kind of taking a bath with that towel. <laughs> I said, I said, Gloria, look at you. <laughs> and, uh, marvelous. And uh, while I was in Lubbock, there, uh, excuse me, in Tulsa, I was invited to come to Lubbock to preach to the fellowship there. Well, that I was excited about that because I was born in Lubbock, and. Uh, so, the old car that we had, oh my, um, it was a little rough around the edges. <laughs> and so, 
I just, I had my Kenneth Hagin tapes. This is back in the days of old carbon batteries. And so the tapes were, they were not cassettes yet. And if, and you, you had to have so many batteries that <laughs> one set of batteries would last two sides of a tape. So I, I left Tulsa <laughs> in that car and uh, I had the little battery operated player in, in the car seat. Whole sack full of little carbon batteries. And this car was a bit tired and uh, it was awful. So, <laughs> so I listened to the tapes all the way to love them. Stayed all night, listened to them all night. Got up the next morning, listened to them all night. And the uh, meeting was at Furs Cafeteria. Well, <laughs> and I wasn't really sure exactly what to preach that night, but I already knew that if I had any doubt at all, just preach faith. Amen. Well, now imagine this. The cafeteria, um, the, the front, the tables like this were here, and um, then the, there was a door here and doors here where the people, the cafeteria was closing, and so they were busting the tables. Well, I couldn't stay up on the platform. I got down there in front and just started preaching faith. And it seemed like all those tapes came out at once. <laughs> I got so excited. And I, I started preaching up and down the front of the floor there. And, and I, I finally, I just went in and went back through the kitchen through there and preached all the way through the kitchen to all the kitchen help and came out the other side and they were all standing there listening to some of them saying yes amen <laughs> those were the days and um, it's a marvelous and wonderful honor and privilege to be here last night and tonight and uh, I'm going to, let, let me say this. Uh, Benji, you remember Lavinia James. Now, Lavinia was a widow, and she, she was healed of cancer in Oral Roberts' meeting. And Lavinia had a tendency to be a little bossy. <laughs> so she called Sam Rudd in Denver. I had no idea she was going to call him. She called Sam and, and said, um, now Sam, I have a young man here and he's supposed to preach in your, your, your regional. You want to talk to him? <laughs> and, so, and I said, I said, Sam, I didn't tell Lavinia to do this. He said, Kenneth, I know Lavinia. So he said, listen, we're having a regional convention but I don't know whether I'll have any room for you, but he said, I'll tell you what I'll do. You and Gloria, come on. And he said, I'll take care of your, your hotel. I'll take care of all your food. So I put on my, my finest blue, um, what were they back in those days? Uh, what do you call that stuff? It's plastic anyway. <laughs> Huh? Polyester. Polyester. Oh, and you could put it on and do like this, and it just, they were plastic suits. Oh, Lord. And, and I went, and the way it worked around, um, the somebody didn't come right on time, and so Sam just kept plugging me in, and so that's where I started. And after a while, I began to be invited by others and others, and I kept praying about it. Lord, what do I do? And there came a time when the Lord said, 
you accept every invitation from the fellowship unless I tell you no. Amen. Now, there is a video that I would like for you to see if they have that video now, please. Taking Ken Copeland's time now. <laughs> a few days ago, I got a letter from Kenneth H. Copeland. He, he and his wife were in uh, Glory, Son of Glory, right here. Let's give Glory a big hand, John. God bless Glory. Thank you, Glory. Tears welled out of my eyes. They wrote a nice check and wrote the most beautiful letter. And I shared this letter with the International Board just a couple of days ago. It encouraged me, it really did. It really encouraged me, and I thank you, Ken, for that letter. It really encouraged me. Ken Copeland, we love him, blessed of God mightily. And we kind of share him as part of this fellowship, and through this fellowship, things began to happen way back. And of course, many others had part in his life. You can't claim it all. But we love Ken, doing a tremendous job. God has just raised him up like a star, a meteor, to reach the world. And as he comes, let's tell him we love him and bless him. Praise God. so kind and the love of God is flowing through you tonight so strongly that this place is charged. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. I appreciate Brother Demas and his family and their obedience to God and all of the men that have listened to God to bring this fellowship to this place tonight. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we praise you tonight. Thank you and bless you, sir. The privilege and the honor that has come our way to have seen so many things and come to a place to have learned from these great, great men and women of God. And it's an exceptional honor and thrill for me to stand behind this desk again for the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. And I thank you for it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I talked about the ministry of the evangelist. In fact, let's look in Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 9. Now, that he ascended, what is it but he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill or fulfill all things. And he gave, Jesus, Jesus gave to the church his body. He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors 
and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying or the building up of the body of Christ till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man or a mature man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Now, if, it, if that's what it took to mature the church today, that's what it, then that's what it takes today. Well, the apostles have passed away. Who's told you that? Whoever it was didn't know what they're talking about. There's 24 apostles in the New Testament. Most of what is called missionary, that ministry is not in the Bible. But in most cases, they are apostles. An apostle is simply a sent one. One sent to do the job. The evangelist is right in the middle. I talked about that. Now, last night, Mario Murillo was scheduled to speak. The reason he's not here, I know this young man, the anointing has become so strong on him, he's a tent preacher. And he's in Colorado Springs he was on Flashpoint, and he said the service doesn't start for 45 minutes. He said our tent seats from 2,500 to 3,000. He said it is packed, and there, there, are, there are upwards of, of 1,000 people outside the tent and the service is already, they're already singing and worshiping over there, and the service hasn't even started yet. So they had to buy a tent that would seat over 5,000. Amen. Amen. The anointing of the evangelist and that young man started in poverty. And out, in, out here at, at, at Berkeley, and he just began to preach on the campus. Oh, they wanted to throw him out of there. And eventually, I think they did. But they couldn't get rid of him. And the people started following him. And they, they'd just they'd walk around and follow him and get under conviction. And, and suddenly be delivered. Amen. Amen. Now, we were in Lima, Peru. I was preaching there for Hernan Babylon in the, in the stadium. And there was a hospital right next door and across the street from that stadium. There was a woman being examined by her doctor. She had, what, David, was it thyroid cancer? I think it was. Anyway, he was examining her and she began to cry. I'm on fire. I'm burning. I am on fire. And she began to change, change color. Mm -hmm. And it frightened her doctor. He thinks maybe she's dying. I was preaching next door on the glory of God. Hallelujah. Now, in this setting, the Lord God years ago called me long time ago, to people who spoke the Latino languages.
she left there, he examined her, and the cancer was gone. So she's just a bit stunned. <laughs> and so she, quote, stumbled into that meeting where we were praising God. And she said, this is it. This is it. This is what happened to me. She came forward, gave her life to the Lord, and was filled with the Spirit of the living God. Amen. Now those are the kind of times we're, we're involved in. So, Mario Murillo is a man of God. Now, <laughs> I didn't finish first date. There, this was 1961. There was an American comedian by the name of Dave Gardner. And he was, and this, in 61 and 1962, he was at his, his, his very peak. Never, never told any off-colored stories, but everybody just called him Brother Dave. And he was hilarious. Well, that's what I was doing at that party. Well, <laughs> so then, and, and I, I met Gloria then that next morning and walked out there on the, uh, the, the veranda and she patted me on the back and I was gone. I fell so head over heels in love with her. And so my boss said he, took, he was taking over the fixed base operation in Camden, Arkansas, wanted to know if I wanted to go. I said, yes. Don't you want to think about it? I said, no, I thought about it. And I thought, that girl's over there somewhere, and I'm going to find her. So we had some weather. I called her and made a date. So she gave me directions, and I drove from Camden to Blevins, Arkansas, which was 40 miles, picked her up, and then went back to Camden. And the man, Mac Tate, and his wife, uh, he was a flight instructor, and, and he was still giving me flight instruction. So I asked her for that date. And then um, Johnny Mathis sang Misty. Well, so did I. <laughs> Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. I feel like I'm clinging to a cloud. I can't understand. I get misty just holding your hand. So we drove. I have no idea what we talked about that other 40 miles. And uh, now this is our first date. We walked up on the porch. I said, Gloria, will you marry me? And she said, okay, and just walked in the house. <laughs> I thought, sure, this was going to take a while, so I wanted to get started. She, she said, what have I done? I don't even know this guy. Oh, well, I'll get out of it later. She never did get out. Now, her dad said, I have a young man I want you to meet. She said, I'm not interested in meeting any of your friends. He said, no, I don't want you to marry him or anything. He said, he's funny. And so that's the way that came about. <laughs> so, and then that's when it began. A life, and it was her, her, uh, 
her, her love, unconditional love, that softened my hard heart and brought me to that place. The only time I ever raised my voice to her, I, I, don't, I don't remember now what it was. I just took off and I, right in the middle of it, I just stopped and I said, oh, Gloria, I'm so sorry. And I just went over and we had a little rent house and I just went over there and fell down on this couch and went into a deep sleep. And at first, when I woke up, I, I thought I slept around the clock, but I, then I realized I hadn't. She was, when I woke up, I was on my side, she was right up there in my face. 99 out of 100 women would have slapped my jaws and walked out of that room. And I looked at her and I said, Gloria, I got to preach. She said, I know it. <laughs> well, here I am. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now then, words are spiritual containers. We've talked about the fundamentals of faith. What are, what are the fundamentals? That, that's, that's the groundwork. Vince Lombardo, Lombardo, arguably the greatest football coach, mm -hmm. had a losing season. So he walked out and said, gentlemen, this is a football. <laughs> These are the best. Mm -hmm. So what are you seeing when you see the World Series? What are you seeing when you see the Super Bowl? You're seeing masters of the fundamentals. How did they get that way? By practice, 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 over, 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 over and over. World War II, they were teaching young men to fly. So they began so basic. They walked out there and they said, gentlemen, this is an airplane. Everybody knows that. But now, it wouldn't take me but just a few minutes. If you do not already know how to fly, I could lose you. Just with the fundamentals. This is a propeller. This is an engine. This is an aileron. What? An aileron what? I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the fuselage. This is the empennage. This is the elevator. Did you know an airplane had an elevator? If it didn't, it wouldn't go up. I know. <laughs> Those are flight controls. Mm. They're just basic. A 747 flies the same way. It's just a whole lot bigger. Now, over the years, in training and training and training, I went from a little two-seat Cessna and graduated up to a little bit bigger than, and finally up to a little bigger multi-engine airplane and then up to a jet and then a four-engine jet and then then coming on up in these different type ratings. They all do the same thing. But it's a progressive growth and development of the fundamentals. That's the point I'd like to make. So, so you come to that place where you have to go back to the fundamentals of faith. Believe in your heart and say it with your mouth. Faith will not work in an unforgiving heart. Abraham's blessing cannot be received with Thomas's faith. Thomas wouldn't believe anything that he couldn't see and feel. Mm -hmm. That sense faith. Anybody do that. But faith believes without seeing. Mm -hmm. Because faith believes this book. 
This is a faith book, a book of covenants. So words are containers. Words carry faith. Words carry fear. Words carry love. Words carry hate. They are containers and they are spiritual. Far more important as spiritual containers than just communication. In the beginning God spoke. And it was. <laughs> And then we find out in the book of Hebrews, he did it by faith. Amen. Now, exceeding great and precious promises and words, let's look in the sixth chapter of Luke. Oh, I love this book. And let me remind you again. This is a book of covenants. It's been called the Old Testament and the New Testament, but it is the first covenant and the second. All of these tabs on my Bible are healing scriptures. Amen. And then, notice this, in Luke chapter 6, verse 43, this is Jesus speaking. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bringeth forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush do they gather grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. An evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of his heart the mouth speaks. The mouth speaks. Whatever is in someone's heart the most, that's what comes out. Now then, let's look at this then in Matthew chapter 12. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Matthew chapter 12, 35. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. An evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Were you saying I have five more minutes? What is an idle word? These are the dangerous ones. That thrilled me to death. No, it didn't. You didn't die. Well, my feet are just killing me. Well, why don't you just say your feet hurt? That's an idle word. And you continue to say those things over and over and over and over and over and over until it gets down on the inside of you and then you begin to say things that will begin to control your life. I had said it so many times how much I dislike exercise. And that's the reason I was 
big and fat. <laughs> but I made a decision. And I walked in my exercise room there at home. Mm -hmm. And I have an A-frame there. And I was all suited out. And then I'm ready to pull this thing down. There. And it came out my mouth, man. I said, I hate this. I, I said, no, no, Lord, I love this. You told me to do it. I physically felt that spirit leave my body. And ever since that day, I get up early in the morning and that's the first thing I do is hit that exercise room and hit that treadmill. Glory to God. Amen. Words, containers of life or death. Containers, spiritual containers. They are the most important things on this earth whatever is in your heart has to come out of your mouth and fear is not acceptable fear is not good the spirit of fear will kill you and the spirit of love will cause you to live thank you for putting up with me for two nights glory to God Let's give the Lord a thanksgiving and a prayer. Would you like to pray for us? Or? Yes, yes I would. Most people have no idea from what we are redeemed. Well, sin, you think maybe? No, 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 no. We are redeemed from the curse of the law. Read that in the third chapter of the book of Galatians. What is the curse of the law? You have to go back to the 27th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. There were two big mountains, Mount Ebal and Gerizim. These were people that were, had a covenant with God, but they were having to relearn it. So a half of the tribe were on one mountain and half were on the other. One of them is an alkaline mountain and nothing grows there and that was the curse mountain. And the other was lush and green and that was the blessing mountain. And they were shouting back and forth. The curse. God didn't want to curse his people. He's not in the business of cursing anybody. They had to learn and be redeemed from that curse. This is a law book. When Cain killed Abel, it was not against the law. So there had to be a law book. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare the, the healing power of Almighty God. Amen. I declare it tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whose I am and whom I serve, Moncledo, le gripe bestel, clacristana, le brana, matetieto, le rubuvro, mancana. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing now. Anybody that has problems with arthritis in your hands, move them right now. Praise God, you're healed. You're healed. You were healed 2,000 years ago. Now take it by faith. Just take it. Just say, I have it. It's mine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You take a promise. You take a promise and stand on it. Glory to God. Amen. You find that in the book of Hebrews. So you find that promise. Find what covers your situation and take a stand and say it's mine and it's mine now. Amen. I have a covenant with God. I am a covenant man. I have a covenant with Almighty God and it's a blood covenant. I am a blood brother to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's my best friend. Outside of glory, it's a wonderful thing to be married to your best friend for over 60 years. Amen. Amen. But she knows and I know. I love her. I tell you, I love that woman. But she knows. I've said this to her. I said, Gloria, I loved you so much, but you know, you know where Jesus stands in my life. 
I love him. And she tells me the same thing. And it, it, that love is in this room right now. Someone is being healed of sinus problems right now, right around your eyes, sore eyes, kidney problems, kidney trouble, and, and the, around, around your knees, calling things that be not as though they were. Just say it. I call my knees well. I call my back well. I call my ears well. I call my eyes well. I call my liver well. Glory to God, I'm well. I'm well, glory to God. It's one thing to get healed. It's another thing to live in divine health. Glory, and I haven't been sick in so long. A couple of years ago, I had the flu for about 15 minutes. I was sitting on the front row at the minister's conference, and just started feeling it. If you'd have been sitting right there next to me, you could have heard me. And I said, you can't put that on me. You know you can't put that on me. In the name of Jesus. I was sitting there and that chilled all over me. I said, no, you just get off of me right now. I'll not have it. I'll not have it. Get! <laughs> it's over. Amen. It was over. Amen. And now listen, I'm not bragging on me. You understand that? Dr. Weeder and I both tested negative for COVID five times. Like, Jesus, like Gloria says, you do what's right in the supernatural and you do what's right in the natural, you live in divine health. Amen. 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 Yeah, my son. Today is one day closer to the resurrection. Today, people are changing. Nothing happens in the earth until it happens first in the spirit, saith the Lord. Always remember that. So the moment that the decision was made in the United States to stop abortion, in that moment, I declared the country healed and the country well. Now the patient is sick and it'll, but the devil will show himself up and he's, he can't change. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. He'll never change. He's the same devil, but I'm the same God and I'm alive forevermore. I created the heavens, and the babies that are with me now that never had the opportunity to live, they are with me, and they are crying out before me, and I love them, and they're wonderful, and now we glorified God in this nation, hallelujah, and things are changing. The nation is healing, hallelujah. It's healing, it's healing, it's healing, it's healing. It's healing. God said, if my people, if my people will humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Glory to God, just my people will. Well, this land is God's and it's being healed right as we speak. Glory to God. And I thank God for it. And to have been, to, to have been, in a family. My dad, Secretary Treasurer, Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship in Fort Worth, Texas for years and years. And like I said, I went to those meetings. First time I ever saw Lester Sumo. I thought, that really beats all I ever saw. And Brother Sumo and I became very, very good friends over the years but I met him at the fellowship. The first time a grown man ever walked up and hugged me. And I liked it. <laughs> and I'm still liking it. God bless you all, God thank you. bless you. you. Having two nights with Kenneth Copeland and the Lord. Precioso tener dos noches con Kenneth Copeland y el Señor. Would you give Kenneth Copeland another round of applause? Podríamos darle un nuevo aplauso a Kenneth Copeland.
Before I, you may be seated. Before I came to the World Convention, antes de venir a la Convención Mundial, the caretaker for my 100-year-old mother-in-law, la enfermera para mi suegra de 100 años, said to me that Kenneth Copeland is the most authentic Christian she knows. Me dijo que Kenneth Copeland es el cristiano más auténtico que ella conoce. So it is well, well, uh, he's well liked. Así es, muy, muy gustado. I would like to introduce another special person. Me gustaría eh, presentarles otra persona muy especial. Who is going to share testimony on financial principles. Quien va a compartir su testimonio sobre principios financieros. And that is our USA National President. Y él es nuestro presidente nacional para los Estados Unidos. From Kansas City, Missouri. De la ciudad de Kansas, en Missouri. He founded his consulting company. Eh, tiene su propia compañía de consultoría. Called Management by Strengths. Llamada Gerenciando por Fortalezas. And he conducts workshops for organizations throughout the world. Y él tiene talleres para organizaciones alrededor del mundo. It's been amazing having him as the USA National President since 2018. Ha sido es espectacular tenerlo como presidente de los Estados Unidos, de FINEC, Estados Unidos, desde 2018. As Southeast USA Regional Director, I attend a weekly Zoom call that Mike leads. Como director regional de Estados Unidos, yo atiendo una reunión semanal que Mike dirige. And he has provided amazing spiritual leadership for our group of 20 directors and leaders throughout the USA. Y ha, nos ha llenado con mucho liderazgo espiritual a este grupo de 20 y pico más de directores regionales que hay en Estados Unidos. Please welcome with me Mike Postlewaite, USA President. Por favor, denle un caluroso aplauso a Mike Postlewaite, Presidente de FINEC, Estados Unidos. Thank you, Doug. Gracias, Doug. Where's Gerardo? There you are. Do you have me follow Kenneth Copeland? Estaba siguiendo tú. I mean, good grief. Last time I smoked at the World Convention in Anaheim was the first time here. 19 years ago. La and primera Richard, vez que vine a una convención fue aquí hace 19 años. And Richard had me on the program following Reinhard Bonnke. <laughs> y Richard me puso en el programa siguiendo a Reinhard Reinhard Bonnke. Reinhard Bonnke. How many know who Reinhard Bonnke? <laughs> ¿Quiénes lo conocen? He's praising the Lord in the great cloud of witnesses right now. He, Está adorando el Señor en estos momentos. He led hundreds of thousands of people to the Lord and y ha llevado a cientos de miles de personas a conocer al Señor. In the continent of Africa. Um, I didn't know what to, how to really start that. So I got up and the Holy Spirit just gave me the words. I just asked the audience, do they know the difference between an evangelist and a teacher? Yo solo le pregunté a la audiencia si conocían la diferencia entre un evangelista y un profesor, un maestro. And nobody volunteered an answer. Y nadie fue voluntario para dar una respuesta. And the difference is the evangelist doesn't use PowerPoint. Y la diferencia es que el evangelista no ocupa PowerPoint. And I was a teacher and I had a PowerPoint presentation and that began yo, the presentation. Yo era un profesor y sí también tenía mi presentación de PowerPoint. This is going to be a little different presentation on financial principles. Esta presentación va a ser un poco diferente sobre los principios financieros. But it's the heart of it. Pero es el corazón. The most basic principle in running a business is you must give before you can receive. El principio principal de administrar un negocio es que debes de dar antes de recibir. Most people don't understand the principle. Eh, la mayoría de gente no comprende este principio. 
but every salesman knows that he has to make the effort to show the product to the customer. Pero todo vendedor sabe que lo primero que debe de hacer es el esfuerzo para mostrar el producto al and, cliente. And persist with follow up and follow up until finally perhaps the person does business with him. Y persistir y persistir y darle seguimiento hasta que eh, finalmente muy probablemente terminen haciendo un negocio con él. Wouldn't it be ridiculous to think the salesman would say, I'll give you, I'll show you the product if you first send me the check. No les parece que sería ridículo si un vendedor llegara y le dejara a un cliente, bueno, te voy a enseñar el producto, pero primero dame el cheque. So you have to give. Como ven, primero da. Before you can receive. Antes de recibir. The question is, what are you giving? La pregunta es, ¿qué le das? In our business, we teach people how to work with each other based on understanding their natural temperament. En nuestro negocio nosotros le enseñamos a la gente a trabajar junta entendiendo su temperamento. Most people treat other people the way they like to be treated themselves. La mayoría de gente eh, trata a la persona o le gustaría que las personas lo traten como ellos lo tratan. 95% of couples have different temperament. 95. 95%. 95% de las parejas. We have tens of thousands of profiles to prove that. Right, Jennifer? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer is different than Francis. Jennifer is different than Francis. Jennifer sat through our trash, How to Walk in Agape Love in a, a Ghana in 2008, and thanks to Ghana, it led to us having what we have to have here today in USA. They were the godfathers of founding our entity, USA. So thank you, Ghana. Okay. Gracias, Gana, por su participación y por su estar aquí siempre. Okay, everything we teach is based on the Word of God, so I don't know how else to uh, share something with you without using Scripture. Bueno, lo, todo lo que usamos, todo lo que usamos nosotros es siempre basado en la Palabra de Dios. When you came into the uh, convention, you, you received a seventh anniversary commemorative publication. Cuando ustedes vinieron a la convención, recibieron una revista eh, conmemorativa de la 70 aniversario said unite rise and shine que decía unidos levántense brillen then they gave a scripture verse as a reference y después le dimos la referencia en la palabra de dios isaiah, isaiah 60 verse 1 arise shine for your light has come isaías 60 versículo 1 and the glory of the lord has risen upon you levántate brilla que la luz ha venido y la gloria del señor se ha levantado contigo on our opening night last Thursday, en nuestra noche de apertura, el jueves, the Holy Spirit said, also share with them Galatians 2.20. Because the glory of the Lord is risen upon you because the glory of the Lord has risen upon you because yes, yes. Eh, la gloria del Señor <laughs> se ha levantado contigo porque because you've been crucified with Christ. Porque ha sido crucificado con Cristo. It's no longer you that live. No, no eres más tú quien vive. It's Christ that lives in you. Es Cristo que vive en cada uno de nosotros. In this life you now live in the flesh. Y la carne, y la vida que vive ahora en la carne. You live by the faith of the Son of God. Vive por la fe en el Hijo de Dios. Who loved you and gave himself for you. Quien te amó y se dio a sí mismo para ti. Therefore you can arise and shine. Así que puedes levantarte y brillar. For your light has come. Porque tu vida ha venido. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Y la gloria del Señor está con nosotros. Our international president uh, has been emphasizing throughout the meeting that we are one. Nuestro presidente internacional ha estado enfatizando durante todas las eh, conferencias que somos uno solo. That's an answer to prayer that Jesus prayed. Esa es una respuesta a oración de Jesús. It says in John 17, 21, Dice en Juan 17, versículo 21, Jesus prayed for us, Jesús oró por nosotros, that they all may be one, de que todos sean uno, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, así como tú, Padre, y yo somos uno, that they also be one in us, que ellos también sean uno con nosotros, and that the world may believe that you sent me, y que el mundo crea que tú me enviaste. Demas prayed the same prayer, basically, in the ultimate dimension. Demos eh, oró la misma oración en su libro La Última Dimensión. How, how many have read The Ultimate Dimension? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han leído La Última Dimensión? 
quite a few of you. Excellent. So what does it mean to be one with God? Okay, this is the PowerPoint point in our presentation to validate that I'm a teacher. <laughs> este es un punto en nuestra presentación para validarlo como profesor. I can't see the screen, so I don't know if anything's up there. Eh, no podemos ver la pantalla acá, pero... Does it say we are one with God, John 17, 21? All right. Así dice, somos uno con Jesús. Program works. <laughs> if you want to imagine this in a kind of a graphical way, si nos imaginamos esto de una manera gráfica, I want you to imagine four circles, one inside the other. Quiero que se imaginen cuatro círculos, uno adentro de otro. And the first circle represents, the first outer circle rep represents the Father. Y el primer círculo externo representa al Padre. And then, where is Jesus? He's one inside the Father. Y Jesús es el círculo que está junto al círculo del Padre adentro. And where does he say we are? ¿Y dónde creen que nosotros We're estamos? We're inside of him. Nosotros estamos adentro del círculo de Jesús. And where's the Holy Spirit? ¿Y a dónde está el Espíritu Santo? He's inside of us. Él está adentro de nosotros. Can you see it on the screen? ¿Pueden verlo en la pantalla? You know, sometimes graphics can help us relate Mucha, to, muchas veces una, la gráfica nos, nos, to reality. Nos, nos enseña a relacionarnos de una mejor manera y comprender la realidad. If the Holy Spirit's inside of you, si el Espíritu Santo está dentro de mí, adentro de ti, and you're inside of Jesus, y tú estás adentro de Jesús, how can you lose? ¿cómo puedes perder? I mean, all you have to do is talk to one or the other. No hay forma de perder. Lo único que tienes que hacer es hablar con uno o con el otro. One of the best prayers you can ever have is, Jesus, what should we do here? Y le pregunta a Jesús, ¿qué debemos de hacer acá? Shut up and listen. Or, ask the Holy Spirit the same question. O puedes pedir al Espíritu Santo que está morando en ti la misma pregunta. And again, shut up and listen. Y después, cállate y escucha. Haven't we been hearing testimony after testimony of people that did that and had results? Yo he oído testimonio y testimonio de personas que han hecho eso y han obtenido resultados. Kenneth Copeland said last night, we need to find something to agree on. Kenneth Copeland dijo eh, anoche que necesitamos encontrar algo en lo que estemos de acuerdo. Most, been, most people spend most of their life talking about what they disagree with. La mayoría de gente pasa... Eh, out, casi toda su vida platicando de en qué está en desacuerdo con los demás. Tonight, out of the of the heart, the mouth Como dijo ahora, eh, lo que de la llenura del corazón habla la boca. What did Jesus say? 18, ¿Qué dijo Jesús en Mateo 18, eh, versículo 19? He says, Again, I say to you, Nuevamente, te lo digo. If two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, que si dos de ustedes se ponen de acuerdo en la tierra de, eh, con respecto a cualquier cosa que pregunten be done for them by my in será hecho por mi Padre en los cielos para ellos the first word was again? Las, la palabra otra vez Jesus was saying, again I say to you. Jesús frecuentemente decía de nuevo te digo a ti Kenneth Copeland was saying tonight you got to go back to the fundamentals Kenneth Copeland dijo que tenemos que regresar Again, a los fundamentos. Jesus said, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit so he can explain what I said because you haven't got it yet. Jesús dijo, te voy a mandar el Espíritu Santo. Father Cedric last night said that his, his life changed when he understood Matthew 7, 7. El Padre Cedric dijo anoche que su vida cambió cuando él leyó Mateo 7, 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Pide y se te será dado. Seek and you will find. Busca y encontrarás. Knock and it will be opened unto you. Toca y se te abrirá. Okay, what was Demas' prayer? ¿Cuál era la parte de Demos? Should come up on the screen there. I'm quoting from his book, The Ultimate Dimension. Estoy eh, a punto de... Let's just agree in our hearts and receive this as if we were saying it for the first time. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, 
Y vamos a repetir esta oración, como, vamos a hablar esta oración como que si fuera la primera vez que lo hacemos. Padre Celestial, te damos gracias por enviar a tu Hijo Jesucristo. To earth to walk with us. A, a la tierra para caminar con nosotros. We thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to live within us. Te damos gracias por enviar tu Espíritu Santo a vivir dentro de nosotros. And now, Lord, we thank you for allowing us to become one with you. Y ahora, Señor, te agradecemos por permitirnos ser uno contigo. To walk in your power. Caminar en tu poder. To operate in your wisdom. Operar en tu sabiduría. And to perform your miracles. Y realizar tus milagros. So we might mightily, so that we might be mighty end time witnesses for your glory. Para que podamos ser testigos poderosos de tu gloria en los últimos tiempos. Unite, rise, and shine. <laughs> Únanse, uh, levántense y brillen. That's not just a theme for a meeting. Ese no es solamente that, un lema. That is, a, that is a lifestyle. Es un estilo de vida. Okay, when it comes to giving, Cuando se trata particularly de dar, giving money, particularmente dar dinero, it's important that we know how much to give es importante que sepamos cuánto dar and have peace about it. y que tengamos paz con ello. And for those of you that are married, it's essential that you be in agreement with your spouse. Y aquellos, para aquellos que están casados, es esencial que estén de acuerdo con su pareja. We're going to practice what we've been hearing all week long, how to listen to the Holy Spirit right this moment. Vamos a practicar lo que hemos estado oyendo toda la semana, cómo escuchar la voz del Espíritu Santo, y lo vamos a hacer en este momento. And however you see that slide, I want to talk to the Holy Spirit, I want to talk to Jesus to make a difference. <laughs> Here. Holy Spirit said you and you're in Jesus. Just ask either Jesus or the Holy Spirit, would you please just tell me what I should give as an offering this evening because it's important. Así que vamos a hacerle una pregunta, pueden preguntarle como hemos visto, ya the sea a Jesucristo o al Espíritu the Santo. The offering is important. This is the last opportunity in the convention to invest in the greatest fellowship on earth. Su ofrenda es importante, es tu última oportunidad en esta conferencia, en esta convención, para que tú puedas dar e invertir en esta gran fraternidad. And the money that comes in from the World Convention, literally from a business standpoint, provides a lot of operating capital throughout the year. Y el dinero que viene de la convención mundial eh, so, sirve para gastos operativos so, so a lo largo a, del año. This is a business, and we need to invest in our business. Así es que este es un negocio y necesitamos invertir en nuestro negocio. So right now, ask the Holy Spirit what you should give. Así es que ahora, por favor, cada uno, and, pregúntele al Espíritu Santo cuánto debe de invertir. And once you, if those of you that are married sitting next to your spouse, share that with your spouse. Y para todos aquellos que están casados y han venido con su pareja, por favor, so, compartan so, eso con su pareja y pónganse de acuerdo. So two of you together agree as to what you should give. Así que dos juntos, como pareja, and you're going to be blessed beyond lo que you're going to be, que dar. You're going to be blessed. Y van a ser muy bendecidos. Just because you agree. It's not the amount. Solo porque se ponen de acuerdo, no es tanto la cantidad. It's the fact you agree as to doing something that's important. Es el hecho de que se ponen de acuerdo para hacer algo importante. So the ushers, I wish you would uh, pass out envelopes if you haven't done so already. Así es que ya los servidores van a pasar todos los sobres, si no es que los pasaron en este momento ya. And everybody just take a moment to ask the Holy Spirit. Por favor, tomémonos un momento y en la intimidad preguntémosle al Espíritu Santo. What would you have me do? ¿Qué quieres que haga? ¿Cuánto quieres que dé? Praise God.
venimos ante ti y te adoramos y te ofrecemos esta ofrenda estamos de acuerdo con nuestra pareja que tú nos provees de todas las necesidades a través de tus riquezas en Cristo Jesús así es que damos y ofrecemos esta ofrenda en tu nombre por Jesús amén amén Thank you very much, Mike Postawait from the USA. For this closing session of the World Convention, for, for the final session of the World Convention, para la última sesión de la Convención Mundial, I think it would be very appropriate to hear some words from our international president. Creo que sería apropiado escuchar algunas palabras de nuestro in presidente internacional. This gentleman is a man dedicated to the agricultural business. Este es un hombre dedicado al negocio de la agricultura. Residing in Monterrey, Mexico. Y reside en Monterrey, en México. Has brought his wife with him. Trajo a su esposa aquí con nosotros. And daughter Pamela. Y su hija Pamela. And they have two other children. Tienen otros dos hijos. We appreciate Mario and Sylvia and Pamela being here with us in person. Y le damos gracias a Mario, a Pamela y a Cynthia que estén con nosotros. Sylvia. Mario Garcia also serves as the national president of Mexico. Mario Garcia también es el presidente de la nación de México. And under Richard Shakarian, the former president, y bajo Richard Shakarian, nuestro anterior presidente, he served as a regional vice president for all of Latin America, and there's a lot of nations there. Sirvió como vicepresidente regional para Latinoamérica, y hay muchas naciones ahí. As international president, he emphasizes the full gospel. Y como presidente internacional, él le da énfasis al evangelio completo. And we rely on the Holy Spirit for that full gospel. Y descansamos en el Espíritu Santo para ese evangelio completo. And I know he's going to share some encouraging words with us. 
Ahora va a compartir unas palabras de ánimo para nosotros. Please welcome Mario Garcia Oliveira. Así que le damos la bienvenida a Mario Garcia Oliveira. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Maybe sit here. Pueden sentarse. Do you receive? Do you receive something in this convention? Ha recibido algo en esta convención. Did someone stop you and said, I have a word for you? Alguien los detuvo y les dijo, tengo una palabra para ti. Sí. Qué bueno, porque voy a hablar mejor español. Good, because <laughs> I'm going to speak in Spanish. <laughs> Va a llegar el momento que nos vamos a tener que comunicar con señas, ¿verdad? There will come the time when we just have to use sign language. <laughs> Pero realmente estoy muy contento porque estamos eh, en un tiempo muy especial. But I'm very happy because we're in a very special time. Escuchando a, a, a el señor Kenneth Copeland. Listening to Kenneth Copeland. Él mencionó a Mario Murillo. He mentioned Mario Murillo. Hace aproximadamente un año. About a year ago. Sentí un deseo de de buscar eh, videos de las convenciones eh, anteriores. I had a desire to look for the videos of past conventions. Más que todo de las convenciones donde de participó nuestro fundador Demo Shekaria. Especially those uh, conventions where our founder Demo Shekarian participated. Veía la sencillez y simplicidad de esta organización. And I saw there the simplicity of this organization. Hoy nos ha eh, abrazado la tecnología. Now technology has embraced us. Eh, aquí podría haber, eh, no sé, a lo mejor unas cuatro pantallas más, a, 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 eh, eh, digamos, uh, además de estas dos que tenemos. We could even have four more screens uh, besides the two that we already have. Sí. Pero me fijé en algo, en estas, eh, encontré algunos videos. But I found some videos and I noticed something. Y veía cómo eh, nuestro fundador eh, ponía la, el stage. And I saw how, my, how our founder would set up the stage. De una forma tan sencilla. Very simple. Pero había algo maravilloso en eso. But there was something marvelous there. Hombres llenos del Espíritu Santo. Men full of the Holy Spirit que apoyaban a su líder would be there standing up for their leader y que no necesitaban eh, mucho show they didn't need a lot of show sino que lo más lo que más les importaba era el compartir de la gente what they most wanted was to share with people en 1990 me encontré un video de 1990 i found a video of 1990 me impactó mucho lo que dijo Mario Murillo. Ese fue el speaker, uno de los speakers en esa en esa convención. And I, I, I saw, I, I heard what Mario Murillo said at that convention. Dos cosas me impactaron de él. Two things. Yo nunca I lo había him. escuchado a Mario Murillo. I had never heard about Mario Murillo. Muy joven. So he was young. Inclusive nuestro fundador dijo, este es un hombre muy joven, pero que está teniendo algo muy impactante en sus compartires, por eso lo hemos invitado. And our founder said, this is a very young man, things, very exciting things are happening in his life, that's why we invited him. Dos cosas dijo muy importantes. Two very important things he said. A, a, además de, cual, de, de, estuvo compartiendo sobre el futuro del evangelismo en el mundo. Uh, besides sharing about the future of, of evangelism in the world, pero cuando se concentró en, en eh, dar la opinión acerca de esta fraternidad, But when he on, uh, his about this dijo algo muy interesante que me impactó. But he said very that me. Lo primero que dijo, the first thing he said, esto es 1990. Remember 1990. 
fraternidad. Fellowship. Necesitan regresar a sus raíces espirituales. You need to go back to your spiritual roots. Eso es lo que el Señor les dice en este momento. That is what the Lord says in this moment. Regresen a sus raíces espirituales. Return to your spiritual roots. Y a mí me impactó porque dije, ¿desde cuándo está hablando nuestro Padre, el Señor Jesús, de que tenemos que regresar a las raíces espirituales de esta fraternidad. And it impacted me how long our Lord has been speaking about the need to return to our spiritual roots. 1990. 1990. Y me dio tristeza. It made me sad. Porque Dios estaba hablando muy claro. Because God has been speaking clearly. Otra cosa que me impactó. Another thing that impacted me. Y nos preguntó. He asked us. Y hago la misma pregunta esta noche. And I asked the same question tonight. ¿Cómo vamos a conectar una generación con otra? How will we connect one generation with the other? Es nuestra responsabilidad. It's our responsibility. Señores. Gentlemen, principal, on the head table, presidentes de naciones, presidents of nations, directores internacionales, international directors, es nuestra responsabilidad, it is our responsibility, en este tiempo, in this time, de conectar una generación con otra, to connect one generation with no the other. No estamos dispuestos a perder otra generación. We are not to lose no another generation. No lo vamos a permitir. We will not permit this. Esta visión tiene que prevalecer el tiempo que él lo quiera. This vision has to remain as long as he wishes. Pero tenemos que preparar la generación que viene atrás nuestro. But we must prepare the, gener the generation that's coming. Hay una generación esperando. There's a generation waiting. Me permiten bajar. Can I come down to you? Me permiten bajar. Can I come down? This is very simple. <laughs> Where is Ben? Danny. Gracie and DeSosa, where are you? It is the tallest man in this country. The tallest man in this country. And that guy. Come. Come into another young guy. Otro joven. Columbia. Can you come? Where do they need? Ladies. Can you come? Where do they need to? Can you? Please. Pamela. Come. Come. Panama. You. Please. I think, uh, let me put order here. Come here, come here, my brother. Here, your place. Emeka, come. Here, please. Please, let's get Pamela. Where's Gerardo's daughter? Elsie. Okay, no problem. Okay, let me show you one thing. I've been, I've been traveling all over the world, in every continent. I've He been. estado alrededor del mundo en todos los continentes. Every continent. Todo el continente. Before I, I was elected international president. Aún antes de haber estado, eh, ser, ser elegido como travel. presidente. Empecé a, a, a viajar. Me invitaban y yo le pedía autorización a mi presidente internacional, puedo ir. They invited me to travel and to come, and sí. so I asked for permission from my president, and he said, go. Te están invitando. They're inviting you. Sí. 
And I said, yeah. Vaya, go. Y recibí muchas invitaciones antes de, de ser el presidente internacional. So I received many invitations be before becoming Todavía international president. Todavía no tenía president. la responsabilidad de la presidencia internacional. I still did not have the Pero el Señor ya me estaba entrenando para algo mayor. The Lord was training me for something greater. Y visité, ¿dónde están mis amigos de Australia, Doug and, and Pauline? I don't, I don't see them. Huh? Doug and Pauline. Stand up, Doug and Pauline. This, this couple, this is special, look at them. Esta pareja, mirenlo. Invited us to come to Australia to meet my wife. <laughs> y manejamos, nos trajeron por 5,500 kilómetros viajando en toda Australia. They brought us throughout Australia for 5,000 kilometers. Thank you. They took, primero nos llevaron First por los lugares preciosos, playas, buenos hoteles, maravilloso. First they carried us through all these beautiful places and hotels. Pero después entramos a la área seca, donde no había llovido nunca, en, en varios meses o varios años, inclusive. But we went, then we went into the drought area where there had been no rain for a long time. Fue una experiencia maravillosa para nosotros. A wonderful experience for us. Dos semanas duramos en Australia. Empezamos a ver milagros, we prodigios. Start, we started seeing wonders and miracles. Después vinieron otras invitaciones. Then came other invitations. Recientemente he estado en, en uh, África y Latinoamérica, y ahí es donde quiero mostrar esto. I have recently been El in Señor Africa. Señor ha hablado fuertemente a mi corazón de que tenemos una gran responsabilidad en este tiempo. The Lord has given me the, the message that the, we have a great responsibility Como líderes y parte de esta organización. As leaders and members of this organization. Discúlpenme, no puedo hablar de otra cosa más que de esta fraternidad, porque soy miembro, tengo 30 años de caminar en esta fraternidad y no puedo hablar de otra cosa más que de la fraternidad. I'm sorry, I can't speak of anything about else but this Me han enseñado a compartir mi testimonio. I need to share testimony. Y donde quiera que he estado, en iglesias grandes, pequeñas, he dado Where, mi testimonio. No soy predicador, soy un hombre de negocios. Where I've been in churches, big, small, I've given my testimony. I'm a businessman. Y eso es lo que nos distingue. And this is what Podemos makes us different. A cualquier lugar. No hay barreras que nos detengan. We can go anywhere. Hombres no barriers. De la fraternidad, nadie los detiene para entrar a una iglesia. Nobody will stop us before going into a church. En Australia lo vivimos. We lived this in Australia. Pero quiero rápidamente decirles. Ustedes ven aquí a, estos, a estas damas y mis amigos caballeros. Ustedes ven las, las diferencias de edades, ¿verdad? No digo que estén viejos porque eso se oye así medio feo. Eh, no, no, no. Diferentes edades. You see different ages. Esta es una generación. This is a generation. Aquí está otra. And that's another. Aquí está otra generación. Another generation. Y aquí hay otra generación. And then another generation. Estos hombres que están aquí. These men estos here. Que están aquí. Tienen una gran responsabilidad. These men have a great responsibility. Para que siga adelante corriendo en el mundo nuestra visión. To impart on the next generation so that they carry on. Hay naciones. There are nations han una who are losing a generation no se de ello. because they did not worry about them. Señor a mi and the Lord has spoken strongly to my heart. O lo entiendes, o pongo que lo or do you understand or I will make you understand? Discúlpenme, <laughs> no, eh, ya no hay cabida para eso. No, the, the Lord has no time for, for, for o te all mueves, these o te spiritual mueves. faces. Afuera está la guerra. There's a war outside. Encarnizada. And it's a strong war. Y el Señor nos quiere usar en una forma poderosa. And the Lord wants to use por it eso powerfully. es importante las that's, generaciones. That's why the generations are important. Y eso es lo que nos va a mantener a flote en nuestra visión 
maravillosa y va a mantener yendo esta fraternidad en todo el mundo. This is what will keep our vision afloat in this fellowship. A mí me impresionó. Ya entendieron, ¿verdad? Ya entendieron lo que You understand, right? Me imagino. Thank you, gentlemen, ladies. Thank you so much. Gracias. Pueden sentarse. Y eso es lo que les, en dado momento les quiero transmitir. This is what I want to transmit to you. La responsabilidad que ha puesto Dios en, mi, en, en, mis, en mis hombros. The responsibility that God has put on my shoulders. La quiero cumplir. I want to fulfill it. Estuve a punto de morir. I want to talk about Bolivia. Pero el Señor me rescató. Ya no podía levantarme de la cama. Me estaba pasando por un desierto. I was encountering a desert. Y esa noche le dije, Señor, and I said, uh, si este es mi tiempo, lo acepto. Lord, if this is my time, I accept it. Solamente le encargo a mi esposa y a mi hija. I just give you my wife and my child. Que son las que necesitan ayuda y apoyo. They need help, Lord. Y estoy listo. I'm ready. Si este es mi tiempo. For a long time coming. Estaba con mis brazos abiertos, hincado. I was with my arms open. Y de pronto sentí que la, la habitación se llenó de una presencia maravillosa. And all of a sudden I felt a wonderful presence in the room. Y sentí un toque en mi mano. And I felt a touch in my hand. Y empecé a escuchar palabras maravillosas. And I started to hear wonderful words. Aquí estoy contigo. Y te voy a decir por qué, te, por qué estás pasando este desierto. And I'll tell you, he said, why you are crossing this desert. Dos cosas. Two things. Quiero que te vuelvas a enamorar de mí como lo hiciste al principio. I want you to come back to loving me as you did before. Que tengas el primer amor. The first love. ¿Saben qué es eso? Do you know what that is? Cuando conoces a Jesús y desborda tu corazón y empiezas a amarlo como nunca habías amado a nadie. When you encounter Jesus and you start loving him as you have never loved anybody before. Por eso te estoy pasando porque quiero que regreses a amarme de nuevo como lo hacías antes. That's why you're crossing this desert because I want you loving me back as you did before. Que vuelvas a a orar como lo hacías antes. That you would start praying as you did before. Acuérdate. Remember. Que tiene razón, Señor. And I said, yeah, yes, you're right, Lord. El trabajo, las obligaciones. The work and the responsibilities. A veces nos retiran de ese primer amor. Y oramos por inercia. Porque sabemos que tenemos que orar. I started no going by inertia. Que lo al el Señor quiere que regresemos al primer amor y que estemos siempre como el primer amor con él. The Lord wants us back, loving Him in our first love, like always. Te he encomendado algo, me dijo. Fue la segunda cosa. I have given you a y task. No has terminado. You haven't finished. Yo digo cuándo y a qué horas. I'm going to say Por eso what. But go forward. Ya lo entendiste. You understood. Al siguiente día me levanté. Next day I got up. Ya no podía levantarme la cama. I couldn't get up from bed anymore. Tenía que ir a Washington D.C. a una reunión de directores internacionales. I had to go to the international directors meeting. Cuatro días. Había ya estaba a punto de cancelar. I was about to cancel. El señor me levantó y empecé a comer y empecé a agarrar fuerza y le dije a mi señora, prepárate porque nos vamos. And I started to eat and get strong and I told my wife, prepare yourself because we're leaving. Por primera vez usé una silla de ruedas en un aeropuerto. For the first time I rode a wheelchair through the airport. Y la gente se te queda viendo así como diciendo, está muy muy joven para andar en una silla de ruedas, ¿no? And people would look at me and say, he's too young to go on the wheelchair. Pero no me importó. Didn't matter. Yo iba a servirle a él. I was going to serve him. A servirle a él. To serve him. Y hemos seguido adelante en este caminar. And we have gone on in this way. Hace algunos años mi hija enfermó y la llevamos al hospital. Some years ago my, my daughter got sick and we took her to the hospital. Estaba muriéndose. 
tubos por donde te quiera. Y, y le dijimos al Señor, Señor, si se la va a llevar, llévesela, pero no la tenga así, Señor. Then I looked at her with all her tubes and things that were on her, and I said, Lord, if you need to take her, take her, but don't have her like this. Y el Señor ese día nos juntamos como familia. And that day we got together as a family. Oramos como nunca habíamos orado. We prayed like we had never prayed before. Mis hijos, mis dos hijos, Pamela y Abraham, y mi esposa y yo nos hincamos. And we got together and kneeled. Empezamos a hablar con él. Began to talk with him, uh, speak with him. Y a través de mi esposa él habló. And the Lord spoke through my wife. Y dijo esto tan impactante. And he said, and he said this, which was so impacting. Le dijo mi esposa, Señor, te la vas a llevar. My wife said, Lord, are you going to take her? Y dijo, ¿y qué si me la llevo? ¿Qué si me la llevo? And the Lord said, so what if I take her? Está bien, padre, llévesela. And I said, okay, father, Pero, take her. Pero ya no la haga sufrir. But don't let her suffer. Entonces vino el Señor a hablar fuerte y claro. Then the Lord came and started speaking strongly. Ustedes quieren más a su hija que a mí. Do you love, more, do you love your daughter more than me? Y yo soy un Dios celoso. Un Dios celoso. He, I am a jealous God. Quiero el número uno en sus vidas. I want to be number one in your lives. Y nosotros nos dimos cuenta que sí queríamos más a nuestra hija que a Dios. And then we, we come, came to understand that we loved her more than God. Porque es una, una niña con discapacidad. Because it's a, it's a girl that has some dis, uh, discapacity. Y después vino su amor. Dijimos, Señor, estamos listos para que usted se la lleve. And we said, Lord, we're ready y, for y you to take her. Es el uno en vidas. But from this point on, you will be number one in our lives. Al siguiente día, mi esposa ya no quiso ir al, al, al hospital porque ya no aguantábamos. Tenía 15 días en cuidados intensivos. Next day, my wife didn't want to go to the hospital. We had been, she had been 15 days in intensive care. Yo llegué a la habitación y la vi acostada. I went into the room and I ya saw her lying los, in the bed. En los codos y en los talones, porque estaba inmóvil. There was, there, there was uh, uh, bruises in her, in her knees and in her elbows. Recuerdo que esa tarde le dije, Señor, no la quiero ver así, ya llévese la Padre. And I said, Lord, I don't want to see her like that. Take her to the Father. Pero si la va a dejar, déjela bien, Señor. But if you're going to leave her, leave her well. Y, de, y me había dicho el doctor, si no reacciona, ella va a quedar como vegetal. And the, and the doctor said, if she doesn't come back, uh, she's going to remain as a vegetable. Yo veía a mi hija. And I looked at my daughter. Recordaba cuando estaba chiquita. I remember when she was so small. Le decía, Señor. And I said, Lord. Qué dolor tan profundo. How, the, what a pain this is. Era un hijo así. To have a child like that. Y en ese momento el Señor escuchó mi, mi palabra así. And at that moment the Lord used my words. Y movió una mano mi hija. And my daughter Después moved her pie. hand. Después empezó a querer parpadear. Then her leg, then her eyebrows started to move. Después abrió sus ojos. Then she opened her eyes. Volteó a verme. Looked at y me. Y me dijo, papá, papá. And said, dad, dad. Ese es el tipo de Dios que tenemos That's the kind of God we have. Ante él. When we go before him. No nada para él. When we don't reserve something from him. Más que amor. Más que fe. When you give him our love and our trust. Amigos. Friends. Esa fe yo platico, yo, yo camino, perdón. Las experiencias que Dios nos ha dado como familia han sido maravillosas. Uh, gentlemen, my, the experiences we've had as a family are wonderful. Y quiero terminar con esto. I want to end with this. Porque esto es importante. Because this is very important. En la mañana decíamos que estamos entrando en una nueva dimensión. In the morning we were talking about that we were in a new dimension. Tuvimos una convención en Guatemala y, y el tema fue quebrando los moldes. 
we had a convention in Guatemala and the theme was to breaking the mold. Pero no lo habíamos hecho. But we hadn't done it. Lo dijimos. We said it. Se oye bonito. It sounded good. Pero no lo habíamos hecho. We hadn't done it yet. Estamos ante el umbral. We are at the edge. De cruzar para una nueva, para otros 70 años de esta fraternidad. Of the start of another 70 years of the fellowship. Otros 70 años para esta fraternidad. 70 more years. Por eso les digo, preparémonos. So I say, let's prepare. El, está listo el camino, está listo la instrucción. Como él, como comandante en jefe, está the, listo y ya dio la instrucción. The way is ready and the instructions are given. Está listo para llevarnos a esta nueva etapa de esta organización. He's ready to take us to another level in this organization. Con un poder sin igual. With an unmatched power. Con una unción increíble. With a different anointing. Y que empezamos a ver los milagros. Where, where we will see the miracles. Prodigios. Pro que ya, lo, ya los empezamos Wonders. a ver en el mundo. That we were not seeing again in the world. Yo le preguntaba al Señor, ¿dónde están los milagros? ¿Dónde están los prodigios? I said, where are the miracles, Lord? Where no los are veo, the wonders? Señor. ¿Qué está pasando? ¿En qué, en qué, qué estamos haciendo mal? What's happening, Lord? What are we doing wrong? Y el Señor respondió, no es el tiempo. Espera, no seas impaciente. And the Lord said, wait, don't be impatient. El tiempo vendrá, ¿y sé cuándo? ¿Y a qué horas? And I said, I say. Estaba esperando esta convención de celebración de los 70 años. The Lord was waiting for this 70 year celebration. ¿Quién cree que vamos a ir a una nueva dimensión? Levántese y póngase de pie. Si usted cree que vamos a una nueva dimensión. Do you want to go into another dimension? Stand up. Prepárese, amigo, amiga, fraterno, fraterna. Prepare porque vienen grandes cosas para esta fraternidad. If you're a member of the fellowship. Señores directores. Lord, mit, Directors, reciba la unción del Espíritu Santo. Receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Recibanla. Receive the anointing. Porque es bajo su espalda que el Señor se va a manifestar en sus naciones. The Lord shall manifest in your nations. Y yo en el nombre de Jesús les bendigo. And I bless you in the name of Jesus. esta bendición. That you will receive this anointing. Ponga sus manos en la gente, en su gente. Lay your hands on your people. Unjalos. Anoint them. Unjalos. Anoint them. Porque viene un trabajo enorme. Because uh, the work is going to be immense. Asia, Africa. Asia, Africa. Latin America. Latin America. Europa. Europe. Estados Unidos. The United States. Estados Unidos, el fuego llega. The fire is coming, United States. Con tus manos, Mike. Con tus manos enfrente. El Señor te dice que the fire is, will begin in this time. The Lord says Tomorrow the fire it will start. The fire, you will see wonderful things the happening Lord says in the, the United States. Fire will start Rise in this again, time. said the Lord. Rise again. Rise and you again. will feel it and you will have a, Levántate. you will be impressed how the, the Lord will do in the United States. Yes. If you believe it. Si tú as crees, a leader, as a head of, en tu of this cabeza. nation, mm. that's what we are. That's what we are waiting for. Eso es lo que estamos esperando. Oh my God! Oh Dios! can see how the Lord is walking through you. No puedes escuchar cómo te habla Dios. In the aisles. En esta. Touching you. Aquí. I know that he will give you what you, sé que el Señor les va a dar lo que usted vino buscando. I know that the Lord will give you what you're looking for. Ya se lo lleva. He'll give it to you. Ya se lo lleva. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Les amo, les quiero. I love you. Les respeto. I respect you. 
Vayamos juntos a esta nueva aventura. Let's go together in this new adventure. Vayamos como un solo ejército. Like a one army. Que el Señor está en espera de ese ejército. The Lord is waiting for his army. Somos la fraternidad internacional de hombres de negocios del evangelio completo. We are the full gospel business and Eso fellowship somos. international. Un ejército levantándose de nuevo como lo hizo hace 70 años. An army raising up. Eso es lo que nos espera. This is what's waiting for us. Hagámoslo. Let's do it. Crucemos esta línea. Let's cross. Y pasemos a la otra dimensión. And pass to the other side. ¿Quién quiere hacerlo? Who wants to do this? Antes de que se vaya, haga esto. Before Cru you leave, do this. Cruce la línea. Cross this line. Y rompa el molde. Rompa el molde. Break the mold. Porque ahí estamos. Because that's where we are. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Er, eh, discúlpeme, señor maestro de ceremonias, he roto el, el protocolo. So I'm sorry, I broke protocol. Pero el señor me dijo en la mañana. But the Lord told me in the morning. E enough is enough. Suficiente. That's enough of protocol. Es suficiente de esto. That's enough of politics in this fellowship. Suficiente política en esta fraternidad. That's enough. Es suficiente. You better move. You better move. I'm ready to take you to the next step. Quiero llevarlos al próximo nivel. And that's what we are waiting for. Eso es lo que está esperando. The world El mundo is waiting está esperando on us. En nosotros. On us. En nosotros. Thank you, Africa. Gracias, Africa. Thank you, Mr. President. Gracias, señor presidente. For receiving us. Por recibirnos. And showing us the love of the people of Africa. Por enseñarnos el amor de la gente de África. And, and every every nation that belongs to this fellowship. I bless the nations. Yeah. I bless the every and each nation. Yo bendigo that we todas have las naciones de esta fraternidad. Fellowship. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, señor. May God bless you, my dear brothers and sisters, fellow Amen. members. Oh, I love to give you a hug. Quisiera abrazarlos a todos. But there's too much people. Pero son demasiados. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I know that you can feel the love of the Lord in this moment. Pero quiero que I know that. Ya you el feel amor the love. De Dios. Reciban. And for me, that's enough that you feel his love. Quiero que sientan el amor. I'm de just Dios. a simple man. Solo soy un hombre sencillo. Not looking to serve, only to serve him. Solo estoy buscando That's servirle. It. Nada más. I don't expect any more. No just to serve him. Más. And I know. Yo sé. That he knows already. Que él lo sabe. And he knows my heart. Él conoce mi corazón. Thank you so much for being here. Gracias por estar this aquí. This time I close this uh, convention as officially as international president. And thank you for your presence here. It's been a successful one in every area of, of the convention. We have a success, completed success. And thank you, because you are the ones who make it happen, everyone. Turn your head and say thank you for being here. Turn your head and say the people that are near you. Thank Dile, you for being here. Gracias. And may God bless you, my dear brothers. My dear, my, God Estoy bless you, my dear brothers. Esta convención ha sido un éxito en todo. Okay, it's not done yet. We have more for you. Please translate. Hay más, hay más. No se vayan. No se vayan. Hay mucho más todavía. We are thankful for the heartfelt words of our international president. <laughs> No, otherwise, so. Yeah. You gotta say something. Yeah, yeah. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Told them. No se vayan todavía. Falta la última parte de nuestra noche. So we have a special guest speaker for you still. Tenemos un charlista adicional que va a ser maravilloso. So please have your seats. Por favor, tomen su asiento.
And if you miss, if you leave, you're going to miss the fire that's about to occur. Van a perder, el fuego. And you all, I know, have had a wonderful time here. Sé que ustedes han tenido un tiempo maravilloso aquí. As Mario has said, it's been a successful convention. Y que ha sido para ustedes una convención exitosa. You might like it so much you want to go to the next one. Y como les gustó tanto, creo que van a querer ir a la siguiente. So I'd like to invite someone who is going to share about the announcement for the next World Convention in 2023. Así que quiero invitar a alguien que va a compartir acerca de la próxima convención de 2023. Please welcome the chairman of the World Convention, Gerardo Rivera. Así que vamos a invitar al director de la próxima convención, Don Gerardo Rivera. Preste mi atención, por favor. Please pay attention. Aquel hombre en el primer milagro de Jesús that man in the first miracle of Jesus dijo normalmente el mejor vino lo dan primero y ya cuando están tomados dan el de baja calidad normally the best wine is always served first and when they have drank some wine then they will come out with a cheaper wine y tú has dejado el mejor vino para el final de la fiesta but you have left the best wine for the last. ¿Me entiende? Do you understand? ¿Está lista? Are you ready? ¿Está listo? Are you Porque ready? Viene algo maravilloso. Something wonderful is coming. Pero antes, but first, quisiéramos llamar a Gabriel Jakes. Gabriel. We would like to call Gabriel. Gabriel, venga para acá, por favor. Would you come here, please? E es un hombre que no le gusta que lo pongan en la cámara. He does not like to go in front of the camera. Durante todos estos meses, Gabriel tuvo la responsabilidad de dirigir el equipo local para organizar esta convención. During all these months, Gabriel was in charge of the local team for this convention. Reuniones muy ejecutivas, muy exitosas, con propósito. Some those meetings were very professional, very executive, and they had a purpose. Aprendimos mucho de él. We learned a lot about him. Y esta noche no podemos llamar a todo el equipo, que es un gran equipo. And tonight we can't call here the, the, the whole team here. It's a big team. Pero en representación de todos ellos, aquí está Gabriel. But for representing them all, Gabriel is here. Queremos darte las gracias, Gabriel. And we want to thank you, Gabriel. Por excelente trabajo. For this wonderful work. Gracias, Mike. Excelente Thank you, trabajo, Mike. Gabriel. Muchas gracias. Buen trabajo. Good work, Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel. Gracias, Gerardo. ¿A quién le gustaban las fiestas antes de entregar su vida al Señor? Who liked parties before turning their lives over to the Lord? Porque a mí me encantaban las fiestas. Because I loved parties. Y pasaba de fiesta en fiesta. And I used to go from one party to the other. Y veo other. unas caras aquí que pasaban de fiesta en fiesta. I was one of those that were going from party to party. Y por aquí veo otras también. And I see some of those faces that were going from one party to the other with me. Y ahora en el Señor también nos gustan las fiestas. And now in the Lord we like parties too. Así es que terminando esta. So. Preparándonos with, para la siguiente fiesta. Ending with this one, we prepare ourselves for the other one. Hay un equipo que ya está trabajando para la próxima convención mundial del 2023. There's, al, there's already a team working for the next 2023 convention. Que será en la ciudad de Accra, Ghana, África. So it... The next convention is going to be in Accra, in Ghana. Y para que haga el lanzamiento oficial, tengo el privilegio de presentarles. And to make an official um, 
start, I'm inviting a very special person. A la persona que está a cargo de dirigir el comité organizador. To the person who is in charge for the organizing committee. Originario de Ghana. He's from Ghana. Ha sido presidente nacional. He's been national president. Y actualmente es vicepresidente regional. And now he's a regional vice president. Demos la bienvenida a nuestro amigo George Pra. So let's welcome our friend George Pra. Throughout this convention, a theme has been running. A través de esta convención, nuestro nuestro lema ha sido levantados. The presence and power of the Holy Spirit. La presencia poderosa del Espíritu Santo. And the fact that God is saying He's going to do a new thing. Vamos a hacer una nueva cosa. Isaiah 43:18 has been running, and I read it. It says, "Forget the former things." Do not dwell on the past. Olvidaos de las cosas antiguas. No te quedes en el pasado. See, I am doing a new thing. Vean que traigo cosas nuevas. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? No perciben esto? I am making a way in the wilderness. He hecho un agua en el en and streams in the wasteland. Y he hecho que corran aguas en en el desierto. On Thursday, Kashluda said something. El jueves, Cash Luna dijo algo. He said, this convention we've just had en la primera convención is a perfect tenía. pretext to the Holy Spirit for a fresh visitation in our vision. Un perfecto pretexto para el Espíritu Santo, una fresca visitación del Espíritu Doing Santo. Doing a new thing. Hagamos una cosa nueva. Making a way in the wilderness. Hacer un camino en, el, en los salvajes. Streams in the wasteland. Aguas en el desierto. The next convention. La próxima convención. Coming after the 70th anniversary of our fellowship's existence. Después siguiendo el 70 aniversario de nuestra de nuestra Position, positions us. Positions us. Puts us nos in posi the esto nos posiciona a nosotros to usher in the next wave of our fellowship. Para ser los que damos comienzo a la nueva fase de la fraternidad. I like the video to roll. Quisiera que le dieran que camino al video.
Thank you very much. This convention is hosted by Africa, Ghana. We are only chosen as the premises for Africa to host the world in Africa. Esta convención va a ser eh, en, presentada a ustedes por África para presentar a África al mundo. Of course, Africa is beautiful. Nuestra África es linda. You see it for yourselves. But let me say that the convention is not just about coming to experience the beauty of what you have seen. Pero quiero decirles que la convención no solo es para que lleguen a experimentar la belleza de nuestra Any nación. Any tourist tourism promotion video would have presented exactly the same. Todas las todas las videos que promocionan convenciones con los con Our los bosques. Our invitation is not just come to Africa. Esto es para que lleguen a África. It's an invitation to come to experience the new wave of revival that the Holy Spirit has been speaking. Pero esta es una invitación para que vengan a experimentar una nueva ola de avivamiento. It's not just coming to Ghana. Of course, we would love you to come and we we'll welcome all of you with all the love that we have with us. Queremos que vengan con todo el amor que tenemos en Ghana. But we are talking about another phase of the vision. Pero estamos hablando acerca de la visión. Which is bigger than Africa can contain. Algo mayor que África. And God is saying that bring everybody to Africa. Y el Señor está diciendo vengan traer Not todos a África. Not for the experience of Africa. Okay. Not for the experience of Africa. No para la experiencia de África. But for the experience of my new wave for this fellowship. Pero para la experiencia de mi nueva ola para la fraternidad. It's a wave of power. As it's una ola de poder. Our international president has just expressed. Okay. It's a wave of the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit. Es una ola de poder del Espíritu Santo. Coming back Santo. to this fellowship. Para que vengan a una nueva fraternidad. It's a wave of the love of the Holy Spirit. Es una ola del amor del Espíritu Being Santo. Being renewed amongst us. Que se ha renovado entre nosotros. It's a way of a place for a time for re-equipping us in the vision of our fellowship. Es una hora que nos va a reequipar a nosotros en la fraternidad. It's a time of going back to our roots, our spiritual roots, as es, the international president has es just expressed. Es un regreso a nuestras raíces, como decía nuestro presidente internacional. And so you are not coming just to experience another country. Así que no solo van a venir a experimentar nuestro país. You are coming to experience a new wave of revival. Así que van a venir para experimentar una nueva mission, ola de avivamiento. In fulfilling the vision. Para cumplir la visión. That God gave to our founder Demos Shakarian. Que se le dio a nuestro padre Demos Shakarian. And you know that waves if you are a surfer. Y ustedes saben que si son surfistas las olas. That's a right time. There's a right time to catch the wave. Hay un momento preciso para montarse en la ola. And if you miss the time, si pierdes ese momento, you don't get to where you want to go away with the wave. No vas a llegar a ningún lado con la ola. And God is saying that this is the time. Y el Señor dice, este es el momento. And you want to be part of this timing, which is the timing of God. Y ustedes quieren estar en este tiempo que es el tiempo de so Dios. So that you catch the wave. Para que atrapen esa ola. And move with the wave. Y se muevan en esa ola. So that the assignments that this vision has been given us. Para que experimenten la nueva visión que se nos da. Will be fulfilled. Que sea cumplido. In your lifetime. En tu tiempo. In my lifetime. En mi tiempo. As the Holy Spirit leads. Como el Espíritu Santo diga. And so everything about this convention. Así que todo acerca de esta convención. It's about the international family of the full gospel business. Es acerca de la familia internacional de la fraternidad. Africa is only privileged to be hosting it at this time. Para God's time. Para África es un privilegio tener y, y, y compartir. And so we invite you. Así que los invitamos. The Holy Spirit invites you el Espíritu Santo los invita to be part of para ser parte is doing de lo que el Señor está time. haciendo. The fellowship will have certain highlights. You see it. I'll just run through very quickly. El, uh, la fraternidad tendrá unas We cosas. We speak of empowerment rallies. 
Vamos a tener un rally de empoderamiento. Because this is the time to empower the Holy Spirit to empower us members of the fellowship to go out and do the work that has been given to us. Porque es un tiempo que necesitamos ser empoderados para ir afuera. We will run a school of the vision. Tendremos la escuela de la visión. Because we need to be rekindled in the vision. Porque tenemos if we are to get back to our original spiritual roots, que reencender esa visión y There'll para regresar a las raíces. There'll be a youth forum. Va a haber un foro de la juventud. Because the Spirit is impressing upon us the need to prepare the next generation to carry this vision for the next 70 years. Porque la, nos está el Espíritu llevando a que tenemos que preparar a la generación nueva. And there will be a business expo and virtual, a virtual business expo and business forum. Y también habrá una exposición virtual para los negocios. Because it's time for businesses in full gospel businessmen's fellowship to unite, to rise, and to shine. Porque es tiempo para que los negocios de los que son fraternos se levanten y resplandezcan. The ladies will have their forum. Las damas. There'll be marketplace outreaches. La, la, la There'll be fire teams forum. going out to the communities during the convention. Durante la convención. And so, this is what we have to offer. Esto es lo que tenemos que ofrecerles. Of course, you'll be met with big smiles. Por supuesto. You will meet people with a, a heart of gold. Se van a encontrar con gente con un corazón de oro. You saw in the video the man with a funny hat and his lovely wife, Sylvia. <laughs> a mi esposa. They will be standing sí. there to meet you when you arrive in Accra. Ahí van a estar ellos para darles la bienvenida cuando lleguen. And the word for welcome in my language is aquaba. Y la, la palabra aquaba. que dice bienvenidos es aquaba. And it means aquaba. more than just welcome. Es when más. we say aquaba, Digan we are aquaba. literally saying that my home is your home. Eso, esa palabra dice, mi esperanza es tu esperanza. And we say that because his banner over us is what? It's love in our fellowship. So say after me, Aquaba. Así que digan conmigo, Aquaba. 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 See you in Accra, July 2023. Julio 2023. Wonderful. I am certainly going to see you in Accra. Te voy a ver allá. Along with my wife. Con mi esposa. We have one more wonderful guest with us who is going to share. Tenemos un, un, un charlista más que va a compartir. For this special celebration that we are having. Para esta maravillosa celebración. His name is Dr. Saeed Husseini. Su nombre es el Dr. Saeed Hussein. He was born into a Muslim family. Él nació en una familia musulmana. And yet Jesus met him through a dramatic experience in 1987. Pero en 1987 el, el, el Señor se encontró con él en una experiencia maravillosa. That changed his life. Que cambió su vida. He is a former owner of 15 franchised restaurants in Chicago. Él eh, tenía uh, un 50 franquicias de restaurante en Chicago. And he served as president of FGBMFI chapter in North Chicago from 1990 to 96. Y de 1990 a 1996 sirvió de presidente del capítulo del norte de Chicago. He then sold those restaurants and moved to Phoenix in 1996 y se mudó a Phoenix, Arizona, to follow God's plan for his life. Para el plan de Dios para su vida. He served as a full-time pastor of the prayer ministry. Y sirve como un pastor de full, de tiempo completo en su ministerio. At Phoenix First Assemblies of God since September 11, 2001. In, in Asamblea de Dios de Phoenix. He is founder of Global 365 Prayer Network. He is the fundador del local 365 pues, del, de la red de oración. He is a lifetime member and friend of the fellowship. Este, un miembro vitalicio y amigo de la fraternidad. And has spoken at USA and World Conventions before. Y ha servido en las convenciones anteriormente. And we are glad to have him once again at this World Convention. 
y estamos felices de tenerlo nuevamente en nuestra convención. Please welcome Saeed Hosseini. Démosle una bienvenida a Saeed Hosseini. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. I know we've been here for a while and you've been sitting for a while. He estado aquí por ya un tiempo y he estado sentado un tiempo. But I promise by the time the night is over, Pero antes de que la noche se acabe, you'd be glad you stayed. Van a dar gracias de haberse quedado. Now because of the time that has taken, I need to get about five extra minutes. So who will give me five extra minutes? Can Así I, que yo necesito de ustedes okay, cinco me, minutos extra. Let me que count me them. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. No. Oh, I've got plenty of time. Ya tengo un montón de minutos. <laughs> well, thank you, President Mario. Gracias, Presidente Mario. For hearing from God and asking me and your trust in asking me to speak tonight. Por tu confianza en, en pedirme que hable esta noche. Before we start, I have an announcement to make. Antes de comenzar, tengo que hacer un anuncio. There was a change in the program. Vamos a cambiar el programa. Last night was supposed to be the night of miracles. La noche pasada tendría que haber sido la noche de milagros. But God did a shift. Pero el Señor hizo un cambio. So I'm declaring now. Así que yo declaro ahora. That tonight is the night of miracles. Hoy es la noche de milagros. See, I really didn't want to come to this uh, convention. I didn't want to come to this convention. Yo no quería venir a esta convención. Because this is the first time I've come in many, many years without my beautiful wife, Cynthia. Porque esta es la primera vez de muchos años que vengo sin mi esposa. But I made the reservations a few, you know, a while ago. Pero como había hecho las reservaciones hace un tiempo. And I was coming just because uh, I didn't want to miss the 70th anniversary. Pero vine porque no quería perder el 70 aniversario. I came to see some old friends and fellowship with them. Quería ver a mis amigos de mucho tiempo y tener compartimiento con so ellos. So about a week ago, I got a call from Mario. Pero hace una semana tuve una llamada de Mario. And he asked if I was coming. Y me preguntó, ¿vienes? And if I would speak to the ladies' luncheon yesterday, the ladies of the fellowship. Y que si le hablaría a las grupo de damas ayer. By the way, that's where the real power is. Pero ahí es donde está el poder, de verdad. Yes. So after I got finished yesterday, Eso terminó ayer. I planned today I was just going to relax. Así que hoy solo iba a relajarme. Going to meet with some old friends and catch up. Iba a tener compartimiento con unos viejos amigos. That was my plans. Esos eran mis planes. But God had a different plan. El Señor tenía otro plan. I got a call early this morning from Mario. Tuve una llamada de Mario. And he asked me if I would close this convention tonight. Y me dijo, ¿podrías venir a esta convención hoy en la noche? So I've been in my room all day today. I was in my room all day today. Estuve en mi cuarto todo el día. Seeking the Lord for tonight. Buscando a Dios para esta noche. See, we make our plans. Sí, nosotros hacemos nuestros and planes. And God directs them. Y el Señor los corrige. You know, you want to make God laugh? ¿Qué quieres hacer que Dios se ría? Just tell him your plans. <laughs> Muéstrale tus planes. Holy Spirit, the living God. Espíritu Santo, el Dios viviente. I invite you right now to come. Te invito ahora que vengas. Rest upon us. Descansa sobre nosotros. Like a cloud. Como una nube. Like a sweet, sweet cloud. Como una dulce, dulce nube. Like a blanket cover us tonight. Como una cubierta. Come and take over my Ven. thoughts. Ven y toma control. My words. De mis palabras. Let them be yours tonight, God. Que sean tus palabras. And I would pray that you anoint the ears y que caigan sobre of, everyone who, de todos. of everyone who's listening to de los que oigan. We thank you in advance. Te damos gracias. In the mighty name of en Jesus Christ of Nazareth. De Jesús de Nazaret. What is a miracle? ¿Qué es un milagro? A miracle is something that you thought was impossible yesterday that you see today. Un milagro es algo que creías ayer que era imposible, pero que se ve hoy. So tonight, the title of what I'm going to talk to you about is Así que el título de lo que voy a hablar esta noche es The miracle is in your mouth. El milagro está en tu boca. 
And there's three elements in receiving a miracle. Y hay tres elementos para ver un milagro. When they collide together, cuando se juntan, that's a miracle. Viene el milagro. You must be there in the right place. Tienes que estar en el lugar correcto. The right time. En el tiempo correcto. And you must be the right person. Y tienes que ser la persona adecuada. So I want you to repeat this. Quiero repetirlo. This is the place. Este es el lugar. This is the time. Este es el tiempo. And point to yourself, and I am the right person. Y apunta a ti, a ti, yo, yo soy la persona. See, Ecclesiastes 3 says there is a time and a season for everything. Dice la palabra que hay un tiempo y una temporada para todo. Ecclesiastes 11, then he says that God has placed eternity in our hearts. Y el de Ecclesiastes 11 dice que el Señor ha puesto el, el 70 tema years ago, God gave the vision of this fellowship to our founder, Demas. Hace 70 años le dio esta visión a nuestro fundador Demos. That was the right time and the right place and he was the right man. Era el tiempo correcto, en el lugar correcto y era el hombre correcto. There was a seed that was planted. Una semilla que se sembró. And then it was watered and growing. Y se, se llenó de agua y empezó a crecer. By his son Richard. Entonces vino Richard. But something happened after a while. Pero algo sucedió después de un tiempo. The growth went flat. Eso se volvió un plano. And the people start talking about the good old days of the full gospel. Entonces la, empezó la gente a hablar de los tiempos buenos de la fraternidad. Trying to live off the yesterday's glory. Sí. Living off of yesterday's glory. Ah, empezamos a vivir con la gloria pasada. And some even said the glory days of the fellowship is behind us. Y algunos dijeron las días de gloria de la fraternidad están detrás de nosotros. The enemy tried to bring division. Ya se olvidaron de la visión. Pride and politics. Empe fueron reemplazados por política. And the flesh got right in the middle of it. Y, y la carne se metió en medio. Because they tried to bring the glory back in their own flesh. Porque trataron de recuperar la gloria en su propia carne. Manufactured by their own efforts. Y manufacturado por sus propios eh, trabajos. Starting to compete with the Holy Spirit. Starting to compete with the Holy Santo. See, we should never compete with the Holy Spirit. No puedes competir con el Espíritu Santo. But cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Puedes cooperar con el Espíritu Santo. Apostle Santa. Paul said. El apóstol Pablo dijo. He said, now you're trying to finish in the flesh what the Spirit started. Debo terminar en la carne lo que el Espíritu comenzó. Do you think Demas started this? ¿Ustedes creen que Demos comenzó esto? See, God just used him because he can use anyone. Dios lo usó porque puede usar a cualquiera. Anyone who lets his spirit to be in control and lead. Cualquiera que deje que el espíritu tome control de, y sea el que maneje las cosas. All they have to do is follow his spirit and believe. Solo lo único que tienen que hacer es seguir al Espíritu y creer. Zechariah 4, 6 says, not by might, not by power, but my spirit. Zacarías 4 dice, no por mi carne, sino por mi espíritu. God doesn't need our help. El Señor no necesita nuestra ayuda. Ecclesiastes 9, verses 10 and 11, Solomon said this. I'm going to read the whole scripture, then you can uh, read it if you, if you can. Whatever your hand finds to do, Do it with your might, for there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. Then it says, I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to meet them all. That means the right time and the right season. God's timing and his favor meeting together. I'm here today, tonight, to declare to you. Estoy aquí esta noche para declararles a ustedes. This is a new season. Esta es una nueva temporada. We may have been in a drought. Tal vez teníamos una sequía. But the drought is ending. Pero la sequía se termina. First Kings chapter 18, prophet Elijah declared in the midst of a drought. El profeta Elías declaró en medio de una sequía. He said, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Dijo, oigo la abundancia de la lluvia. He told his servant Ahab, go up, because I see, I hear the sound of the rain. Le dijo a la vida, vaya y escuche, porque veo 
La oigo el sonido de la venida de la lluvia. He went up there six times and came back and said, I don't see anything. Subió y bajó seis veces y dijo, no veo nada. But the prophet has already heard it. Pero el profeta lo había escuchado. He said, go back up there again. Y dijo, vuelve a subir. At the seventh time when he went, went up, he came back, he said, en la séptima vez que subió, regresó y dijo, I see the cloud, but it's the size of a man's hand. Veo una nube, pero es del tamaño de una mano de un hombre. Now Elijah said, now go, get ready. Ahora dijo Elías, ve y, haz, y prepárate. Then the deluge of water came. Ent entonces vino el agua. See, this is what happened. Esto es lo que pasa. He saw. Vio. He said. Dijo, he went, fue, and he did. Y lo hizo. Demas saw a vision. Demos vio una visión. Then he said it. La dijo. And he shared it with men. La compartió con los hombres. The men believed it. Los hombres la creyeron. And then they went out. Y entonces salieron. And then they did it. Y hicieron. That's how it began. Así empezó. He went all over the world. Y se cubrió el mundo. Now it's at every continent. Está en todos los continentes. Imagine and dream with me for a moment. Imagínense que and dream with me for a moment. Y traten de soñar conmigo por un momento. If God did that with one man, si Dios hizo eso con un hombre, what can he do with the thousands of men and women? ¿Qué puede hacer con miles de hombres y mujeres? If they are directed, led and sold out to the Holy Spirit. Que sean dirigidos por el Espíritu Santo. By the way, anything men can do, women can do even better. Bueno, algunas cosas que los hombres hacen, las mujeres las pueden hacer mejor. I shared that with the women yesterday. Se los dije a las mujeres ayer. And I told them that they are the real power behind the men here. Y les digo, ustedes son el verdadero poder en frente de los hombres aquí. Can I get an amen from the men? Yes. Un amen de los hombres. Okay, men, get prepared Así que when you get back. When you get back, get prepared. Cuando regresen, prepárense. Because you're going to have a new wife. Vas a tener una nueva esposa. With a new task and a new dream. Con un nuevo, una nueva misión. Because they're now kingmakers. Ahora son eh, hacedoras de reyes. So you get you men. Así que van a tener nuevos hombres. Get ready to be kings. Y prepárense para entrar en acción. Now, Prophet Joel, in chapter 2, verses 25 through 28, I'm going to read that again. El profeta Joel... This is what he said. Dijo, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, the chewing locust, and my great army which I sent among you, you shall eat the plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord our God, who has dealt wonderf wonderfully with you, and I my people shall never be put to shame. Haré retirar los ejércitos de las langostas y, y volverán a ustedes a tener los alimentos y nunca más van a, la, van a tener falta. Then you shall know that I am in your midst. Entonces and I sabrán am the Lord your God. Que yo estoy en su medio y que and there is no Dios. other. Y no hay otro. My people shall never be put to shame. Mi gente nunca será avergonzada. Then he said this, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Y entonces dijo, se vendrá a suceder que derramaré mi espíritu sobre Your toda carne. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Okay. Your sons and daughters shall Sus prophesy. Tus hijos e hijas profetizarán. Your old men shall dream dreams. Y tus viejos se tendrán los sueños. And young men shall see visions. Y tus jóvenes tendrán visiones. I haven't started dreaming yet, I'm still having visions, by the way. Yo todavía estoy teniendo visiones. Some of you will get that later. <laughs> now, the same thing was said by Peter in Acts chapter 2. Así que lo mismo dijo Pedro en, en Hechos capítulo 2. This is right after Pentecost. Justo después de Pentecostés. People thought that the people were drunk. La gente creía que estaban borrachos. And it says here, Peter standing up in, in the midst of them with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, men of Judah and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my words, for these are not drunk as you suppose they are, 
since only the fourth hour of the day. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. Okay. Y Pedro dijo, oigan, no están borrachos estos hombres, sino que esto es lo que profetizó el profeta Joel. So now I'm here tonight to declare to you Así que what's estoy... about to take place globally. Así que hoy voy a declararles a ustedes lo que ha de suceder globalmente. This is what Peter said. Esto es lo que Pedro dijo. That Joel had said. Que Joel había dicho. And it shall to come to pass in those days, says y God. Y sucederá en esos días, dijo Dios. That I will pour out my flesh, my spirit on all flesh. Que derramaré mi espíritu sobre toda carne. Folks, if this is the last day, if this is the last day, days, if not us, then whom? Si estos son los últimos días, si no somos nosotros, ¿quién? It says, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Dijo, tus hijos e hijas van a profetizar. If not our sons and daughters, then whose? Si no nuestros hijos e hijas, ¿quiénes? And it said, my maid servants and ma men servants will pour out my spirit in those days. Y dijo, a los hombres les derramaré mi espíritu and en esos días. they shall prophesy. Y profetizarán. Before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord, and it, shall, de, and it shall come to pass. Antes de la venida, del gran día de la venida de nuestro Dios, whoever, y esto calls, sucederá. whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Y cualquiera que llame el nombre del Señor será salvo. And this is what happened on the day of Pentecost. Esto sucedió en el día de Pentecostés. Chapter 2, it says, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all in one accord, in one place. Dice... En, en, que en el día de Pentecostés estaban todos en un común acuerdo. Suddenly a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind and it filled the whole place. Dijo, vino un gran sonido de los cielos y un viento huracanado llamó el, eh, llenó el lugar. Then appeared to them divided tongues as a fire. Y llegaron frente a ellos lenguas de fuego. And one sat upon each of them. Y se posaron sobre cada uno. And they were all filled with the Spirit. Y fueron todos llenos del Espíritu. And began to speak with other tongues. Y empezaron a hablar en otras lenguas. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Como el Espíritu les permitía. Same pattern. Same pattern. Mismo patrón. They heard a sound. Oyeron el sonido. They saw the fire. Vieron el fuego. They spoke. Hablaron. Then they went out and did. Salieron e hicieron. Peter preached three first sermon and 3,000 got saved that day. Dice la palabra que tres mil se salvaron ese día. Can you hear the sound of the abundance of rain? Pueden escuchar el sonido de la abundancia de la lluvia? Can you hear the mighty rushing wind? Pueden escuchar ese viento huracanado? Are you ready for the baptism of fire? Están listos para el bautismo de fuego? Will you speak out so he can enable you to go out and do? Pueden hablar para que puedan salir y hacer. He's ready. Él está listo. He's been ready. Ha estado listo. Are you ready? Estás listo tú. The miracle has always been in your mouth. El milagro siempre ha estado en tu boca. John chapter 8 says, out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water. Y dice la palabra que de tu vientre saldrán ríos de agua viva. Are you ready for the living water to flow out of you? ¿Estás listo para que ese río de agua viva salga de ti? And as it flows out of you, y como salga de ti, it can go and give life to others around you. Llegará y dará vida a otros que and están a tu alrededor. And the place that God wants to take you. Y el Señor quiere llevarte. He has been ready and waiting for you. He estado listo y esperándote. Are you ready to sí. receive that fire? Está listo para para Are recibir you ready el to fuego? open your mouth and speak? Está listo para abrir tu boca y hablar? Folks, are you ready for 21st century Pentecost? Están listos para el Pentecostés del del 21 de This is the first convention that Esta I have. Esta convención mundial. Exactly. <laughs> This is the first convention I've attended that has started the first night about the Holy Spirit and is finishing and ending with the Holy Spirit. Esta es la primera convención que comenzó con el Espíritu Santo y termina con el Espíritu Santo. Folks, this is how the church was born in power and with power. Esta convención nació en poder y está en poder. And that's 
how Jesus will return for his church with power. Y así retornará Jesucristo por su iglesia con poder. Not a weak church. No una iglesia débil. A church with glorious power. Una iglesia que esté con poder. Charles Finney, one of the greatest preachers. Charles Finney, a great preacher. Ah, Charles Finney, un gran predicador. He was asked, how do you draw such great crowds? People come to see you. Y le preguntaron, ¿cómo puedes hacer que tan grandes multitudes lleguen a oírte? He said, they're not coming out to see me preach. Es que no vienen a escucharme predicar. He said, I just set myself on fire and they come to see it. Yo solo me prendo fuego y ellos vienen a ver eso. Are you ready to catch the fire? ¿Está listo para tener ese fuego? El fuego? Yeah. I want you to repeat this after me. Quiero que repitas esto conmigo. This is the time. Es el tiempo. This is the place. Este es el lugar. We are the ones. Y somos nosotros los indicados. These are the days of glory. God is preparing his earth movers and earth shakers. Dios está preparando a los movedores y a los estremecedores. This is the Red Sea moment. Este es el momento del Mar Rojo. This is a suddenly moment. Este es un, el momento de ya. Suddenly on the day of Pentecost. De repente, de repente. You can quit repeating, that's okay. This is just like Pentecost. Esto es como el Pentecostés. This is a time for a shift. Es un tiempo para un cambio. A shift in authority. Un cambio en autoridad. New levels. Nuevos niveles. New dimensions. Nuevas dimensiones. A breaker anointing. Una unción más grande. To break the chains. Para romper las cadenas. To bring that fresh fire. Para traer un fuego fresco. The new wind. Un nuevo viento. A tailwind that God wants to give this fellowship so they can soar once again. Un viento de cola para que esta fraternidad pueda volar nuevamente. Psalm 81.10 says, El Salmo 81 dice, Open your mouth and I will fill it. Abre tu boca y yo la llenaré. Why are you so timid? Why are you so timid? ¿Por qué estás esperando? Timido. Ah. I'll translate my own. Okay, why are you so timid? <laughs> Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Amen. Muy bueno. Un viento. If we can get the music going, that would be wonderful. Oh, I wish to. See, when we pre when we when you bring the atmosphere, another thing, when you bring that sound of worship, Cuando you are preparing the atmosphere. Cuando escuchas ese sonido de adoración, el Espíritu Santo viene. Preparas la atmósfera no solo para él, pero la atmósfera para tu corazón para empezar a sentir. ¿Estás listo para que venga el Espíritu Santo? Que descanse sobre ti. He's here. Aquí está. He's here. Aquí está. He's here to heal. Está aquí para ti. He's here to fill. Está aquí para llenar. He's here to empower. Está aquí para. He's here to give new visions. Está aquí para darte. When I was praying today. Cuando estaba orando aquí, in my room, hoy en mi cuarto, the Lord gave me a word for two people. El Señor me dio una palabra para dos personas. Mario, Mario, and Francis. Y Francis. And when I came in tonight, y cuando yo entré esta noche, they had me sit in between the two of them. Ahí estaban sentados ellos. I said, No, you, Lord, you know exactly what you're doing. Señor, tú sabes. So I'm going to open my mouth because the miracle is in my mouth. Así que voy a abrir mi boca porque el milagro está en mi boca. Brother Mario. Hermano Mario. 
The devil has fought you hard. El, el enemigo te ha golpeado fuerte. And you have stayed faithful. Te has mantenido fiel. Tonight, esta noche, the devil has lost. El demonio ha perdido. Tonight is the night. Esta noche es la noche. Healing is coming in your body. Y vendrá sanidad a tu cuerpo. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Desde la punta de tu cabeza hasta la planta de tus pies. God is birthing a new strategy. El Señor está levantando una nueva estrategia. In you. En ti. For the future. Para el futuro. And he has seen your tears. Y ha visto tus temores. He has seen your fears. Ha visto tus temores. In spite of that. A pesar de eso, you have not let your swords down. Tú no has bajado la espada. The word of God. La palabra de Dios. You have clinged on to the word of God. Te has agarrado a la palabra de Dios. And you said, Lord. Y dijiste, Dios. You can take me if you want. Tú puedes llevarme si quieres. If you're done with me. Si ya terminaste conmigo. I'm ready to go. Ya estoy listo para But ello. if you're not. Pero si no. You know what I need in my strength. Tú vas a encontrarme con mi fuerza. You know what it's going to take for me to do your work. Tú sabes lo que tomará para mí para hacer tu fuerza, tu so trabajo. The Lord is giving you that strength tonight. El Señor te está dando esa fuerza hoy. Beginning this night. Empezando con esta noche. Your strength is coming back. La fuerza regresa. Every pain in your body will be gone. Cada todo dolor en tu cuerpo se va. You will be able to rest that night. Vas a poder descansar en la noche. You'll be able, you'll be refreshed in the morning. Estarás fresco en la mañana. God is going to give you dreams. El Señor te dará sueños. And visions. And visions. And blessings. Y bendiciones. More. More. Más. More. Más. More. Más. More. Más. All the directors, would you please stretch out your hand towards Mark? Directores, extiendan sus manos hacia él. Father, we declare and decree. Padre, declaramos. Tonight is the night. Esta noche la noche. This is the right place. Este es el lugar correcto. This is the right time. Este es el tiempo correcto. And he is the right person. Y es la persona correcta. To lead this fellowship. Para llevar esta fraternidad. Into the future. Hacia el futuro. So prepare him now. Así que prepáralo. In his physical body. En su cuerpo físico. And give him your visions. Y dámele, dale sus visiones. And your dreams. Y tus sueños. That you have for the nations. Que tienes para las naciones. Use them for your glory, God. Úsalo para tu gloria. In the mighty name of Jesus. En el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Brother Francis. Hermano Francis. The Lord told me that you have had some plans for the convention next year. El you Señor already me dijo started. Que, que tiene planes para la convención para el otro año. But the Lord says, put them all aside. Pero el Señor dice, aparta esos planes. Because he's going to give you a new plan. Y el Señor dice, te voy a dar un plan nuevo. And he's going to give you a new vision. A new? New vision. That word te is kind of hard. Visión nueva. And he's going to give you a new strategy. Y te dará una nueva estrategia. And all the provision that you need. Y toda provisión que necesites. For this convention. Para esta convención. Is going to come looking for you. Vendrá a buscarte. There are going to be men when you get back. Habrá hombres cuando tú regreses. They're going to come to you. Que vendrán a ti. I'm going to say the Lord told me. Y te dirán, el Señor me dijo. To give you this. Que te diera esto. They're going to come looking for you. Te vendrán a buscar a ti. And there is going to be multiplication anointing coming into your hands. Y va a haber multiplicación que llegará a tus manos. In the area of finances. En tus finanzas. And he's going to put you together. With that man right there. Y te vas a unir con ese hombre aquí. Danny. Con Danny. And he's going to bind you together. Y te los vas a unir. Where the enemy has tried to sl split you before. De donde el enemigo había separado. Because he knows. Porque él sabe. The power of the two of you put together. El poder que ustedes dos tienen juntos. Amen. Amen. Now, I know there's a lot of us here. If you want si tú quieres, to receive, recibir, 
the fresh fire of God. El, fresco, el fuego fresco de Dios. Fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. El fuego fresco del Espíritu Santo. Let's get up and come wherever you Levántate can come. Y ven. In the aisles wherever. Donde quiera que sea, solo acércate. Micrófono, el micrófono portátil. Acérquense más. Miren, sé que en el pasado. When people say come receive the Holy Spirit. Cuando la gente dice vengan a ver el Espíritu Santo, by laying of hands, imponiendo manos, by anointing, ungiendo, that's the only method they're used to. Ese es el único método que usaban. But that's not how it happened in the day of Pentecost. Pero así no pasó en el día de Pentecostés. Nobody laid hands on them. Nadie impuso manos sobre ellos. Nobody prayed over them. Nadie oró sobre ellos. Nobody anointed them. Nadie los ungió. Nobody tried to push them down. Nadie los trató de Nobody empujar. told them this is what you got to say. No, nadie les dijo esto dicte, es lo que tienes que decir. But suddenly. Pero de repente. Suddenly. De repente. Like a mighty rushing wind. Como un gran viento. Like a fire. El fuego. It fell upon them and sat upon each of them. Cayó y se posó sobre todos. Why? ¿Por qué? Because they were expecting. Porque lo estaban esperando. What were they expecting? Estaban esperando. They didn't even know what to expect. No sabían qué esperar. All they had was one word from Jesus. Solo tenían una palabra de Jesús. He told them. Les dijo. Do not leave Jerusalem. No se vayan de Jerusalén. Before you are endued with power. Antes de ser llenos de poder. Go up there and wait. Vayan allá y esperen. All they knew what they were doing was waiting. Lo único que hacían era esperar. Waiting for what? Esperar para qué? The promise of God. La promesa de Dios. Do you have a promise from God? Tienes una promesa de Dios? Do you want God to use you and send you back full of his power? ¿Quieres que Dios te use y te regrese lleno de poder? Are you ready to open your mouth? ¿Estás listo para abrir tu boca? Have you come expecting? ¿Has venido en expectativa? Do you want to leave different? ¿Quieres irte diferente? Because Jesus said if you go without the Holy Spirit, porque Jesús dijo si te vas sin el Espíritu Santo, you're going to go in your power. Vas a You're going to go in your power. Vas a ir en tu poder. But he said, if you wait, Pero dijo, si tú esperas, and be filled with my spirit, y está lleno con mi espíritu, you'll go with my power. Irás en mi poder. So God wants to send you out with his power. Así que Dios te quiere enviar en su poder. Are you ready to open your mouth? Estás listo para abrir tu boca? Because the miracle is in your mouth. Porque el milagro está en tu boca. Can you hear the voice of God talking to you right now? Puedes escuchar la voz de Dios hablándote en este momento. Can you see the atmosphere changing around you? Puedes ver la atmósfera cambiar alrededor tuyo. Are you ready to speak now? ¿Estás listo para hablar ahora? Open your mouth, start speaking. Abre tu boca y habla. They were all in one accord in one place. We're all in todos, one place here. Todos in one accord. En un Open your mouth. Todos en un acuerdo abran su boca. There you go. The Holy Spirit falling. Just say, I want more of you, Holy Spirit. More. More. Let your fire come. Let this be a baptism of fire. The cleansing fire. Let the wind of the Holy Spirit come. Come. Receive. Receive. When that fire comes, the cleansing fire. Will cleanse you. Que te will make limpie, you whole. Que te haga completo, will heal you. Que te sane, will set you free. Que te haga libre. The chains will break. Oh, Rabakash. Come on, start speaking. Habla, Out habla. of your belly, let it flow. Let it flow. Open your mouth. He said, I will feel it. Why are you so timid? Why are you so timid? Open your mouth. 
The miracles in your mouth. Let the miracle come out. Yato roba shikele bo sorro ba kala mama ma. Obe kala ba shikele bo bo. Oh, let the fire fall on them right now, Lord. Let the fire fall on them right now, Lord. Let the power fall on them right now, Lord. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it. Oh, rabaka, yeah, rabaka, yes, hallelujah. Let the fire fall, God. The cleansing fire that purifies, not the consuming fire, but the purifying fire. El fuego purificador. Oh, more, 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 more. Más, más, más. Well, we're not in a hurry, God. We're waiting on you. Él we're waiting on you. Te, te esperando. Enlarge our capacities to receive more. Él tiene la... We want more, God. Tell God I want more of you. Oh, Lord, let it be less of us. Señor, more of you. Menos de more of you. Más de ti, más more de of ti. your power. Más de tu poder. Let visions be birthed tonight. Dreams. Sueños. Those things that have been laying dormant. Todo let it come to pass. Dormido, que venga de regreso. Breathe on them tonight. Right now, receive the breath of the Holy Spirit. Receive it. Tu aliento, Padre, tu Receive aliento. the breath of the Holy Spirit. Tu el aliento del Espíritu Receive Santo. the fire of the Holy Spirit. El fuego del Espíritu Santo. Let that fire go to every nation. Que el fuego venga a las naciones. Every continent. Todo continente. Every city. Toda ciudad. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Oh, no, 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 no. Francis, the Lord said God's going to give you favor with the governmental authorities. When you get back, you're going to make connections with governmental authorities. And there's going to be multiplication by association coming your way. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus, receive that multiplication. God wants to multiply you. God wants to give you divine appointments. Dios quiere darte oportunidades y posiciones. Say, God, I want to hear your voice. Dios, quiero oír tu voz. I want to see your face. Veo una cara. I want to receive your power. Yo recibo el poder. I don't want to do things on my own strength anymore. Ya no quiero hacer las cosas en mi poder. It hasn't been working for me. So I want more of you. Quiero más de ti. More of you, God. Más de ti. More of your power. Más de tu poder. More of your fire. Más de tu fuego. Let the wind of the Spirit now take you. Let that tail when comes and take you like a sail to the destination that God has for you. Yes, out of your belly, let it flow. I see people right now. Yes, God is touching you right now all over this place. There's tears. Don't hold back your tears. Don't hold back your tears. Tears are liquid prayers. Let the tears flow. The cleansing tears, let them flow. Deja que salgan tus lágrimas. Let them flow. Yes. Que fluya. Let it flow. Que fluya. Let it flow. Let it flow. Don't stop. Don't stop. No Don't pares. stop. Don't no be pares. in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry for what no. God is doing in, in you. Oh, yes. He's dealing with you right now. God oh. is healing bodies right now. Está sanando He's cuerpos healing ahora. bodies right now. Está sanando cuerpos. God is healing cancer right now. If you have cancer in your body right now, raise your hand. Raise your hand right now. We rebuke that cancer in the name of Jesus. Cancer, you must die. You must die. My cancer is, has no authority. Your authority has been taken away tonight by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. Cancer is gone. Gone in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. 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 God is healing somebody's heart right now. Alguien está sanando heart. su if corazón. If you have a problem with your heart, let me see your hand. Yes. Touch their heart right now, Lord. The David said, create Toca in me corazón. a new heart. Un nuevo corazón. Oh, God, create in them a new heart right now. El they Señor may have come in here corazón. one way. But, Lord, you're touching their heart right now. Their Señor physical heart ahora. and their spiritual heart. In the cuerpo. name of Jesus, Lord. Open the eyes of their understanding. Open the eyes into the spirit. Lay your hands on your eyes. Say, God, open my eyes so I can see into the spirit. Open their ears to hear your voice, Lord. 
Open their ears to hear your voice, God. Abre sus oídos para que escuchen tu voz. The Bible says, "My sheep know my voice, and they will know no other." Mis ovejas conocerán mi voz. Touch your ears, says Lord. Toca tus oídos. Help me to hear your voice. Para oír tu voz. Let no other voice come into my ears. Que no ninguna otra voz entre en mis oídos. But your voice. Más tu voz. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, gracias, Señor. Thank you for what you're doing. Yes. Gracias por lo que haces. Thank you for the cleansing that's taking place. Gracias por thank la limpieza. Thank you for the lives that are being changed right now, Lord. Por lo que está cambiando Visions, ahora. Visions, dreams. Visiones, thank sueños. Thank you for equipping them before you're sending them out, God. Gracias por llenarlos de poder antes de enviarlos, Señor. Thank you for the hunger for you. Gracias por ese hambre de ti. Thank you for the hunger for more of you, Holy Spirit. Gracias por el hambre del Espíritu Santo. Thank you for them acknowledging they need you. Gracias por reconocer que te necesitan. Oh, we thank you, God, what you're doing oh, here. Solo te damos gracias, Dios, por lo que haces. Now touch your mouth. Ahora toca tu boca. Say, Lord, anoint my mouth. Tus manos en la boca. Anoint my mouth, Lord. Señor, unge mi boca. That I would be declaring miracles. Y yo declararé milagros. And the miracle that is in my mouth. Y los milagros que salgan de mi boca. Let me declare that miracle. Let me declare positive. Déjame declarar. Let no negative thing come out of my mouth. Que no vengan cosas negativas de mi boca. Bless me today, Lord. Déjame hablar ahora, Señor. And enlarge my territory. Y que haga, engrandezca mi territorio. So Father, I pray right now for every person. Así que yo oro hoy por todas estas personas. Every person who's watching. Toda persona que me mira. That you would enlarge their capacity que tú permitirás so they will be ready so they will be ready que serán listos que serán listos for this new wine that's coming their way por este nuevo vino que viene a ellos for this fresh wind of the spirit that's coming their por way por este fresco viento del espíritu que viene for all the good things you want to pour into them vendrá sobre ellos y los llenará so they will walk walk from away from here que no saldrán de aquí Containers of miracles. Contenedores de milagros. That you would give them divine appointments. Que les dará, les dará sus posiciones divinas. That they will be able to hear you. Que te oirán. To see you. Te verán. And declare what the word you put in their mouth. Y declararán lo que está por estás poniendo en su boca. I declare miracles for them around every corner. Declaro milagros alrededor de ellos en todo lugar. I declare that they will not be the same ever after tonight. Declaro que no serán los mismos desde esta noche. That they're going to be fire starters wherever they go. Que serán los que prenderán fuego donde quiera que vayan. That they're going to be a weapon in your hand. Que habrá una un Ready arma to fight tu, the enemy. Una arma en tu mano. And they will see miracles. Y verán milagros. That you will give them healing hands. Give them healing hands. Que le darán manos sanadoras. They will hand, lay hands on the sick. Le pondrán manos a los enfermos. And they will recover. Y se recuperarán. Father, I pray that you will give such a great testimony. Que darán, Padre, gracias porque dará un gran testimonio. That it will come so naturally. Y vendrá tan naturalmente. And all they have to do. Y todo lo que tienen que hacer. Is open their mouth. Es abrir su boca. And expect the miracle. Y aceptarlo. Because you are a miracle working God. Porque eres un Dios de azor de milagros. And they are now miracle containers. Y ahora son contenedores de milagros. Ready to split. Ready to spill. Ready to come out wherever, Listo whenever, whoever salir, you put in contact quiera, with them, God. Sea. That they will be ready in season and out of season. Que serán dispuestos en la temporada y fuera de temporada. Because your Holy Spirit has now equip them porque tu espíritu ya los ha equipado they not going alone anymore ya no van solos they not going on their own understanding ya no van en su entendimiento on their own wisdom en su sabiduría on their own ability en sus habilidades on their own resources en sus recursos but your resources en tu recurso your mind tu mente your power tu poder which is endless que no tiene límite and all we have to do y ahora lo único que tiene que hacer it es creerlo and declare it y ser fuerte we give you glory for what you've done here tonight come on gloria. just give him the glory te damos la gloria give him the glory right now te damos la gloria if you believe 
If you believe that God has heard your prayers and he has filled you with his power and si he crees, has given si, you a vision to take back. Si crees que te ha llenado de su poder, que tienes una razón para regresar. Wave your hand at me. Mueve tu mano. Now give the Lord a big shout of praise. Y un gran grito de alabanza. Hallelujah. 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 As you just shouted your praise, that was a miracle that was in your mouth. Ese milagro estaba en tu that boca. just came out. Saying, God, I believe you. Diga, ahora te creo. Because of that, Por eso, I receive it. Lo recibo. I'm equipped. I'm, Estoy I'm dangerous. Soy I'm your servant. I'm Soy your victorioso. warrior. Soy guerrero. Here I am. Aquí estoy. Send me. Envíame. Glory a Dios. Glory to Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Go back to your countries now. Regresen a sus países ahora. Expecting a miracle. Esperando milagros. Because now you're armed and dangerous. Porque ahora están armados y peligrosos. Amen. Amen. Aleluya. Aleluya. What a way to end the convention. Qué manera para terminar la convención. God had his way. El Señor tuvo su camino. We hope to see you in 2023 in Ghana. Esperamos verlos en Ghana en el 2023. God bless you all. Dios los bendiga a todos. No, no, así, así no.
se canta, si no, ¿dónde está la gente? Las banderas arriba, sigamos el camino angosto. Con Cristo es mucho mejor, con la palma, la sonrisa, vamos escalando perdaño. Vamos llevando la cruz, sigamos el camino angosto. Con Cristo es mucho, ¿dónde está la fiesta? Ya viene la recompensa, ya no voy a yo, arriba, arriba, tengo a Cristo en mi vida, por eso hoy voy a escalar, ya viene la red, ¿dónde está África? Ya no voy a llorar, no, no, tengo a Cristo en mi vida, por eso hoy voy a escalar. ¿Quién dijo que no, que no habrá victoria habiendo conocido? Eso África, que si sí venceremos, aunque Satan no quiera, aunque Satan no quiera, ¿dónde está Francia? Dígalo, fuera de Cristo no hay victoria, fuera de Cristo no hay paz, fuera de Cristo no hay amor. No hay victoria, no hay paz y no hay amor. No hay victoria, no hay paz y no hay... Todos levanten así su bandera, así diciendo, mi nación está en victoria. Hay una victoria grande para mi tierra. ¿Dónde está la bandera? Arriba, 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 arriba. Eso, diciendo que Latinoamérica, Europa, Asia, está en victoria. Until the gospel of his kingdom has been preached And every heart and every soul has been reached Till every tribe and every nation has received his plan of salvation We will carry his banner Every township and 
And every veil To every hedge Every highway And every 